He beat her so bad when she was seven months pregnant that she had to go to the hospital. You wanted to confront your mom. There's a lot of lies that she's telling you. Did he ever threaten to kill you? He has made threats. To kill you? Well, yeah. He punched you in the face and he punched you in the stomach. Well, he never punched me in the stomach. He kicked me. Oh, OK. I quit not, drinking. Not, I quit I smoking. Care. How yeah. many times have you told Megan you've changed? Did this four years ago. He got I don't help. care if he did it 40 years ago. I don't care. You punched a pregnant lady. I think even at 17, you're still have a relationship with your daughter, as long as you're with this scumbag. This is the offer here. You either pick her and your daughter, or you pick James. Nobody's pressuring you. Make whatever decision you want. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Sharon. Sharon, why are you here? Steve, I'm here today because I'm, I'm outraged. I have done everything in my power to change, help my daughter and make better choices in her life. And she called the show and, and is having me come here to confront me about her daughter, who I have custody of because of the choices she has made. OK, yes. why do you have custody of her daughter? It all started. Is this her, her oldest? Yes, it is. And it all started with, um, I got a phone call. I brought them to my home so I could give her a good home and maybe they would be parents. I get a phone call when she's only a week and a half old, a week and a half old. She can't breathe, so I tell her what newborns do. I get home at one o'clock in the morning, my apartment door is unlocked, the lights are all on, the diaper bag is there, the bottles are there, and the car seat is there. What would you have thought had you got a call earlier that this baby could not breathe? I don't think something happened. I freaked out thinking, oh my God, they called an ambulance. I got to a phone, I got a hold of her at 2 o'clock in the morning. They were out riding with their friends. Well, where I, was the baby? The baby was with them. Not in a car seat or anything? Not in a car seat, no diapers, no formula, nothing. And they're just out driving around yes, with their friends? at 2 o'clock in the morning. And what happened? They show up at my door. A friend of hers brings the baby into the door, and she stumbles in. She stumbles against one wall. And I'm like, give me the baby. She stumbles against another wall, and that's when I smelled alcohol. So she doesn't, she's not even the one that brings in the baby. No. She sends some no. other drunk in. Yes. Yes. And so what happened? Then Did you the, call police the police came in. They called the police. Somebody called the police because of the commotion. The police came in. They were going to arrest her and told her that she should be grateful that she has a mother that cares about this child and that they, that she needed to think twice about her life. Your daughter, how old was she when she had her first child? She was just turned 17. Okay, so at 17, I'm sure you weren't very happy that your 17-year-old daughter was having a baby. Absolutely not. But <laughs> as a mother, you said, you can stay with me. I'll help you raise this child. Right, right. But she didn't even take that help. She's out. She's trying to be with this guy who was abusive to her that beat Absolutely. her up. Absolutely. He beat her up so bad when she was seven months pregnant, seven months pregnant, that she had to go to the hospital and eventually ended up with charges for endangerment to a child. When, when, you, when you say he beat her up, what exactly did he do to her? He beat her. <laughs> like, I mean, did he, is he punch her in her I, face? I, 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 I couldn't tell you. I wasn't there. You, I just you was, didn't ask your daughter? What did he do? She just said he beat her. And he hit her in the stomach several times. And how does, she, how does she end up going back to this man? She's done this numerous times. This is not the first time or the last time that he beat her. They were arrested for trying to kidnap. They did kidnap Marissa. her. Marissa. How did they, I they did kidnap her? I came home at late at night. I had, I had let her come back into my home like a mother to give her another opportunity to improve her life. I thought he was in jail. I thought he was in prison. I come home and... Once again, everything is gone. The baby's gone. They're gone. Um, the police worked very hard, got the child back, got Megan to surrender the child back to them within 20, about 24, 36 hours later. Did he ever threaten to kill you? He has made threats. To kill you? Well, yeah. He never punched me in the stomach. He kicked me. Oh, OK. For the past 25 minutes, all you've done is defend him and smear your mom. Hey, hey. Get off my stage. Go on. Get off.
So the police come, they grab the baby back, they bring her back to you. Well, they, they had Megan surrender the child to them in another town. They gave her an opportunity. If you will come with us right now and go home to your mother, we will not arrest you. And she chose him. The police even gave her a chance when she kidnapped right. your daughter or your granddaughter and said, turn yourself in or surrender the baby, go back to your mom and we won't lock you up. And she said, nope, lock me up, I want to be with him. She went back to him. She went back to him. All right, well, we're going to bring your daughter out and find out why she called the show to confront Absolutely. you. Let's bring out your daughter, Megan. Take the chair away, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying. I'm not lying, and no, you know you I'm not liar, lying. No, you are a liar, Mom. James you... never threatened Marissa's life, ever. He would never threaten his daughter's life. Yes, he did. No, he did yes, not. Yes, he did, Mom, and you were sitting you right there when it this. happened. You no, over -exaggerate I do You over-exaggerate everything. You're... Yes, you do, Mom. You're the drama And queen. I never told them, lock me up. I never told them that. They, they said, did not say you that. can they go said back home. You no, could listen come to home, me. they would send you back talk? home. Just and you listen. chose you to go back with James. You always never let me talk. Just let me talk, okay? Whatever. You know what they told me? Mom, they were not going to indict us on this because of the fact it was not 24 hours later, Mom. It was uh, like you know six, what? Stop seven right there. I stop. You know, I don't want to get into 24 hours yeah. and they were going to indict me for this. I don't care about any of that. What this is a show about? You called to confront your mom, right? Yes. What did you want to exactly confront her about? Everything that she has been saying to my daughter about James and I. And why does she? How is she able to say this to her, your daughter? Because mom got temporary custody of her. And how did she I get temporary? I have permanent custody. I have permanent custody. And when did you get permanent custody? Oh, when we bet, went back to court in July of 2004. It was for temporary no, custody. No, sir, you read your papers. You know, here's a woman that doesn't even know if you lost your child permanently or temporarily. Isn't that pretty sad? You wanted to confront her, and you don't know whether you temporarily or permanently have custody of your child. Look, I understand what you're saying, but my mom is very manipulative, manipulative, and you have you've only heard what she is okay, telling I'm, you. Okay, I'm gonna ask and you. There's a lot of lies that she's telling you. Did she lie when you said that your boyfriend beat you while you were pregnant? No, she didn't. Did he ever threaten to kill you? He has made threats. To kill you. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does your Mom, have custody of your child? Yes. Okay. So, you tell me. I'm just guessing here. I'm going to go into this blindly. Who's the bad guy? Your boyfriend or the mom? Both. Both are bad. But she has never given... Who are you with? I'm with James. Okay, if they're both bad, right? You said they're both bad. No, he he used to do that stuff. He is not like that anymore. And how long and has he changed help. his life? Within the last year or two? Just kind of make it more precise. Okay, within the last year. Nah, yeah, lower it down even more. To what? You tell me the answer. It's been You about know a what year. the answer is. It's like two months, right? No. Two months. That's no. what I've been told. No. That two months ago he threatened you? No. Now let me tell you about this story, okay? Oh sure. When this happened with James making the threats, that was because of me doing what my mom told me to, keep Michaela away from him, stay away from him. I do it, but why isn't that, keep a daughter it, from him that he's being a great parent to and that he's being a dad to? Was this the baby that was inside you when he was beating you? No. Oh, so it was your other daughter? Yes. So he thought it was okay to strike a pregnant woman? Yes. And how many times did he strike you when you were pregnant? Maybe twice. Just two times? This was four years ago. I don't care how many years ago it was. Here was a man that made the decision to beat a woman that was bringing his child into the world. How many times did he strike you? I don't know. You don't know? Maybe two, two. When I was pregnant, probably about one or two times. Oh, separate times. And when he struck you, what, what do you mean he beat you? Like, did he punch you in the face? He punched you in the stomach? What did he do to you? Both. 
He punched you in the face and he punched you in the stomach. Well, he never punched me in the stomach. He kicked me. Oh, okay. You're out of your mind to think that I'll ever lay down with you again while you beat me with your child. How did you have another child with somebody else while you were so committed to James? Let's bring that guy out. Here's a guy, not once, but on at least, we know, two separate occasions that beat you and sent you to the hospital, right? Did he not send you to the hospital? I had to go to the hospital. I was pregnant. And because he beat you. It wasn't like this was a regular checkup. This was because you were pregnant with an unborn child and he beat you, right? I can't remember. This was four years ago. You don't I can't remember. remember. Do you remember him going to jail for the endangerment of a child? Yes. That you remember? Yes. He beat you, you went to the hospital, he went to jail. You remember all that? Mm -hmm. Nobody gave you advice. Man, you better get away from this guy. <laughs> Mom, I want to ask you to leave the stage. I want to talk to your daughter alone. We'll bring you, you back out. Why would you stay? Why would you ever lay down with that man again? I did leave him. Okay? No, you didn't. Yes, he went I to did. jail. He went to jail. There's a big and difference there. when he got there. out, I did not go back to him. Until how long? He changed. He is a different person. He did his anger management. He did his parenting classes. He got his GED. He is motivated. He is the best father to Michaela ever. And he, when he when he got hurt, out of jail, when he got out of jail, how long did he go to jail for? 15, 16 months. 15, 16 months. And how long ago was that that he got out of jail? Two years ago. And in all that time, in the last two years, he's never hit you? No, never hit me. Never raised his hand at you? No. Never threatened your mom? He has never threatened my mom. Well, she's saying he, no, he did. No, he has never threatened my mom. Never. So I have you, never heard him threaten my mom. I'm well, sorry you never that heard. I haven't. But it's not a stretch of imagination if a man that would beat a pregnant woman would then threaten somebody else, right? It's not a big stretch, big leap of faith, would you say? No. Okay. You called the show. Yes. You wanted to confront your mom. Yes. And exactly why? I just wanted to try to get things together so I can work on a relationship with her and have one with my daughter. I'm very angry about what she tells my four-year-old when she comes back to me and says, Mom said that um, you're bad. Mom said James is bad. Mom said that I'm not supposed to love y'all. What am I supposed to do when do she says Do you really these believe that your mom me? is telling your daughter my you're not would supposed not to love you? say him? these things. First of all, you she lost... What, hold on. First, first of all, let's get down to the bottom of the fact. That is, you went out and you acted so irresponsibly that your child was taken away. Your child was given custody to your mother. That's not what and happened. It, it is what when happened. When she told you what happened is not what happened. Well, you tell me what happened. My mom kicked us out. That's how she got taken away. She kicked and me. And why'd she kick you out for? She kicked us out because James left because they was always fighting. He didn't want to stay there anymore. My mom and I got to a fight about it and she kicked me and Marissa out and told us that we better be gone the next day before she gets home from work. I left and she called CPS and said that I was out on the streets, I was an unfit mom, and that I had nowhere to go. And so why did they take your baby away then? They came and they took her because she was saying that I was giving her too much Tylenol. Wait a second. You had your baby. Yes. Your mom makes a bunch of crazy lies up, right? Right? That's what you're saying. Yes. She made up a bunch of crazy lies and some child investigative people came, right? Yes. And they said, your mom make these allegations, we're taking your baby, and that's the end of the story. Yes. Um, and that's how it worked, and they didn't do any investigation, they didn't, like, check your baby for Tylenol or... Yeah, they, I mean, they didn't check the stuff for the Tylenol and stuff, but um, I don't know if they did that or not, but they did bring us back to make a safety plan with my mom, and they said that she could e I could either sign over the safety plan to, for her to go with my mom or she'd go to foster care and I'd never see her again. Okay, 
It's been four years now, right? Yes. Why haven't you gotten her back in these past four years? I don't have, I don't have the money to go back to court for her right now. I mean, I'm just trying to do what I'm supposed to do. I've done everything the court has told me to, and I just want to have a relationship with my daughter. Would you want a relationship so much with your daughter that you'd say, I'm going to take a time out from James, I'm going to leave James for six I months? I have. I did. I'm my saying now, today. I'm saying today. Me. You're here to get your, you want to see your daughter, you want a relationship with your daughter. I'm saying... Are you willing to make that sacrifice today for your daughter? I think James should have a relationship with Marissa, too. The one that he was punching while he was in your belly? Listen, okay? He did this four years ago. He got I don't help. care if he did it 40 years ago. I don't care. For the past 25 minutes, all you've done is defend him and spare your mind. Get off my stage! Stop! Do you still want your daughter back? Well, yes, I would, but not right now. I mean, and I why want right, her. And, and why? Because right James now. and Marissa have never had a relationship. But what I'm saying is, I know right now, you know, with everything that's happened, that's her environment. That's her, you know, that's everything she's ever known. You know, I'm not just gonna the woman, the try woman, to up the, and lift the woman from her. that's raised her every day, almost since she's been a child, or since she was born, right? Yes. So how, how long has she, your mother had her? For about three and a half years. So after the first six months of her life, your mother's had her. Mm -hmm. Raised her. Is she a good girl? A good little girl? Yes. And you want to come out here and tell your mom she's lying and she's crazy and everything because else? Because she is. She lies and exaggerates everything. And you know I mean? Did she exaggerate about him beating you while you were pregnant? No, she didn't. Okay. It sounds like you're blaming mom and not him. It sounds like mom blames everybody else but herself. You know what? This is it your responsibility. You ways. were a 17-year-old, and you got pregnant, and you stay with I this guy. I was young. I made mistakes. I've learned from mistakes. Um, you know what? Even at 17, and I'll tell you, I was the biggest goofball around. I'll admit it. I knew not to punch a pregnant woman. Okay? You were raised in a good family. He wasn't. I mean... Oh, so you have to be raised in a good family. Listen, listen, okay? Before you all start laughing. How come you don't f defend your mother this way, it's the way you not, defend this man? I have to... <laughs> She's being so soft. It's all about her. It I want to take another burden on. I raised my children. Now I want to do it all over again. That's why she has nothing to do with any of her other grandchildren. But everything. Maybe in she's the world too busy raising your daughter. You can make me look like I'm this awful bad mother, but I'm not. I'm not trying no, to make I'm you not. wait. That's you know what? I'm, I'm not trying to make you look awful. You know what? I'm not trying to make you look awful. You're doing it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Go. She runs off stage. Let's bring out the father of the year, James. How you doing, James? All right. Please don't sit down on my stage. to say running her big mouth backstage. Come out on stage and say it to me. <laughs> Don't be yelling at my producers. Yell at me. I didn't yell at anybody backstage. I said this is what was going to happen. It's all going to be about James. This is not why we came on the show, but yet it's all going to be about James. This and show is about taking right about accountability for your actions. And, and you want to defend for him. He years. He has been. And for the past 25 minutes, all you've done is defend him and smear your because mom. Get off my stage. God. Get off.
you doing, James? Yeah. I'm sorry I'm a little upset with your, is she, Megan's your girlfriend or? She's my wife. She, she's your wife? Yes. You're legally married. Okay, so James, let's get serious here. Y'all gonna get him pissed off and y'all- Okay, yeah, you know, Megan, keep running your mouth. You wanna stand by your man, but you do it while your mouth zips. Yeah, she, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> wanna stand by him? Wanna go stand by him? Go stand by him. So you can talk to him and make him look so bad. Did, did yeah, I make, did, made did I make him punch you? Did I make him punch he you? He made mistakes in the past, and he did what he did. Well, you only like here. I have said. Did I call you up and make you come on my show? Did no, I call, no okay. and that's why I'm... Okay. She must not have seen my show. <laughs> To be perfectly clear, she called me and she wanted help with, from me to get her daughter away from her mom so her and James could be with. That's why she called the show. Right? Yes. yes. Not to get her daughter back, to, you know, have, to be able to see our daughter, you know, visit her. Her, her mom quit talking bad on us like we're the baddest people on earth. Well, people make the, mistakes. Well, you're not the best people on earth, right? No, we're not. We all make mistakes. James, let me ask you a question here. We make mistakes. Yeah, you know, my dad told me, don't drink when you go out as a teenager. Hmm. You know what? I popped a couple cold ones. I made a mistake. I did. And you know what? My, stake, my mistakes were corrected. You punched a pregnant lady. Is that a mistake? When you clenched your fist and you struck it into the woman you love carrying your unborn child, that was a mistake? Yeah, it was. I was on drugs. You know, oh. I was hanging with the wrong crowd. So what? Okay. Wow. Uh, what, what, you, what, what drugs were you on? I was smoking weed, drinking. I get very violent when I drink alcohol. You clenched your fist and you were striking her, and this didn't happen once. She said it happened more than one time. This happened a couple times. So after the first time that you got high and drunk and you beat her up, you, did you get high and drunk again and beat her up again? Yeah. So. After mistake number one, then won't you say, while well, my girlfriend, who I love, my daughter's in her belly, maybe I'm not going to get drunk and high anymore so I don't hurt my baby anymore. <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't, wouldn't you say that? I think even at 17, you're still... <laughs> Even at 17, aren't you at least that smart that if you did it once, you would never let it happen again? I'll say I wasn't. Obviously, you weren't. And so, you weren't that smart. You beat her once, twice, and somebody, oh, you know, you kept, you know, just beating that poor guy up over that issue. How about that poor baby that was inside the belly? Who was defending that baby? Nobody was. Nobody was. Right, nobody was. Not even her because she let it happen again. She didn't say, you're out of your mind to think that I'll ever lay down with you again while you beat me with your child. You will never, ever get my comfort again. How did you have another child with somebody else while you were so committed to James? Let's bring that guy out. We'll give it to you. Well, let, you know what? Let's 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 give it. We'll give it to you the first time. One time, you get a free pass. What about the second time? Oh, it was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. So what if what if you didn't get indicted? What if you didn't get locked up? Probably a mistake would have happened again, right? No. What would have changed? Everything. Why? It didn't change after the first time. Why would it change second time? We split up. Who split up? She from split who? up with me. She split up with yes. you. And why? Because of the things I'd done to her. And, and because did. you were indicted, right? She's going to leave me because I got indicted. But you got indicted. Yes, I did. Right. 
and then you broke up. No, it was before. You're It was before I went to... I'm talking I to, I, didn't I tell you I'm talking to him now? And you wanted him to take account of responsibility for his actions, and he is. Okay, so it's okay to do what you do. Are you going to keep okay your yap you shut while lie. I talk to James and or it's not? Okay for you Are to you going to keep your yap shut? I want to talk to James now. Now, James, what do you want to happen today? You call the show. I hear you want the child in your life. Yes. Okay, well, just two minutes ago, you said you don't want her back. That's you just not want her well, it's not what we came here to get her back. Can he answer want... for himself or is he too You're stupid? You're making our words switch up and be different. That's not Oh, I'm like your mom, it. I guess. My daughter, I'm looking for my daughter, okay? We would love to have her back right now. Love it. It would be the best thing in the world to have her back right now. For who? But even if... For who? For us. For you, too. But listen... You know, I don't want to just up and lift her out of the only environment she's ever known. Who's, uh, whose fault is it it's the only environment she, she knows? It'd be mine. It'd be yours? Yes. Not, not hers? Well, maybe a little hers, but mostly me. If I wouldn't have done the things I've done, we'd still have my daughter today. Now, this is a real stable relationship, right? Yes. To bring your daughter back into? This is this is a stable relationship. Yes. You love this man. Yes. Do anything for this man, right? I mean, yes. you took a beating from him, and you still stay with him. No, no, I'm, I'm not mocking you. I'm saying, he's You're changed. You're making it the way he, you no, want it I, to no, look okay, like. Okay, I'll make it look at this way. You went and got anger ma management classes, right? Yes. You learned from your mistakes. You're never going to do it again, right? Yes. These are all positive things. Besides having your one daughter your two daughters with James. Do you have any other children? Yes. Do you see that child? Yes. And how often do you see that child? Um, on visitations. On visitations. And how often is that? First, third, and fifth Sundays of each month. First what? First, third, and fifth Sundays of each month. First and third Sundays of every month. First, third, and fifth. Sundays First, third, and month. fifth Sunday of every month. And you get to see that child? Do you make sure you see it every first, third, and fifth Sunday? You never miss a ch chance? I don't. I do when his dad don't want to bring him. Well, let, let me just ask you a question. How, how did you have another child with somebody else while you were so committed to James? Me and James... Me and James was legally separated, and this was somebody that I met. And so you were legally separated, mm -hmm. and it was this after Caleb or before Caleb, your second child? Was this before your before. second child or after? So is this was before. Mm -hmm. So he goes to jail, and then you find somebody else. Oh, we wasn't together like that. It was just like, I mean, me and James was legally separated. Oh, my separated. God, was it just like sex? <laughs> Tell me, what, what was it like? I love, I love your cavalier attitude about bringing children into the world. It just happened. It just happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's bring that guy out. Ooh. And your name is? Ryan. Ryan, how you doing, Ryan? Pretty good. And um, you know Megan? Yes, sir. And how did you guys meet? One of her friends, which I know. Um, we seen each other at the gas station. She introduced us. Uh, James was in jail at the time. Uh, Megan and I got together. She got pregnant. Um, about a week before we found out she was pregnant, uh, she left me. Well, come. Whoa, 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 whoa. A week before she found out she got pregnant. Yes. She no, left you. A week before we, f we both found out she was pregnant, she had left me. Why did she leave you? Because James had got out of jail. James hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. I'll, give you, I'll give you a chance. Hold on a second. And what happened then? She came out and said, hey, I'm pregnant. She was crying. You know, okay, you know, we can work through this, you know, whatever we got to do. Uh, she had got back with James, been with James throughout the whole pregnancy of being pregnant with my son. Um, 
I think you I'm, knew. Did you know the stories of what happened to her while she was pregnant with her oldest child? Yes. Did this cause you any alarm? It, it worried me a lot. Okay. Yes. Um, five months pregnant, she found out when she what we were having. I tried showing up to the doctor's office. Both him and her were there at the doctor's office. She was telling him it was his baby. Is that true? Is that true? That's not true? Is that true, James? James, is that true? Yes, it is true. He knew somewhat of it. So wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. He says he that, oh, it was a stop, stop. He says that you told him that it was his baby, that you knew it was his. He was in jail. Mm -hmm. Then you told him that it was his baby. So who's lying here? Me. OK. There we go. Just want to make sure. Just establishing a track record here. Go ahead. Okay. After that, uh, I hired an attorney. Took her to court. Wait a second. A responsible young man thought, wow, this is the legal custody issue. I'm not going to go get drunk or high or she said, he said. I'm going to go get a lawyer and make sure that my child's protected. Oh. <laughs> She, she just, she started crying and ran out of space. So to continue with your story, I'm just shocked because you might be the first man on my stage that did the right thing. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so I hired the attorney. Uh, Nathan was born uh, about six weeks early, five to six weeks early. I got temporary custody at the time. A uh, year went by. And how did you get temporary custody? Um, I knew the situation of their background, how they were back together, and I won't let my child be in that situation. Right. <laughs> Made a mistake, right? But you didn't compound it, and you took all the right steps necessary. Didn't result the violence, just went to a lawyer, did everything you can to protect your unborn child right. and make sure the moment it was born that you could protect it and you've taken care of it ever since and you're and you said you're a 22 year old man you were able to do this even I I don't think I could have done what you did at 22. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show. You will never have a relationship with your daughter as long as you're with this scumbag. This is the offer here. You either pick her and your daughter or you pick James. Nobody's pressuring you. Make whatever decision you want. So you want to ask her, right? That's the point of the show. You wanted to come and talk to her mom, right? I do. Would you like your wife out here with you while you talk to her mother? Yeah, she would like to be out here. Okay, well, why don't you, why, you know what, why don't you ask your wife if she wants to be out here? It's your wife. <laughs> Do you want to be out here? Your mom's coming out there. And just like he said that we called to have Marissa back right now, we called to get a bring, relationship. Let's bring mom out on stage Everybody and let's see if they come out around. and ask mom for whatever reason they came on the show, they can ask for whatever reason. And if she doesn't want to come out, this is, if you don't want to ask for your daughter a relationship, it's your daughter. If you don't want to come out here and ask your mom what you want to ask her, stay back there and, you know, don't come out. Boy, that's... That's, that's a woman who's fighting for her daughter. <laughs> I see that same level of passion you have for your daughter as you have for James. Mm. Same level of defending him. That same level of passion that you had with Ryan Jamie, in the set. Give me my daughter back. I've changed. You're not, uh, you're I not, quit not drinking. Not I quit smoking. I quit doing say. all that stuff. You, you lied. Are Mike, but a you lie. About you lie. What, you what lie. do I lie about? How many times have you told Megan you've changed? How many times? How many times has this girl had to call me and tell me that you're threatening her life? How many times, James? Two months ago, you were stalking her. Two months her. ago. I was you at my dad's house when you hey, called every stop, two stop minutes. Hey, first stop, stop right there. 
First of all, I'm this is the woman this. that is raising your child, okay? You will speak to her in a respectful manner. You think that's fair, right? This is your mother. This is the woman that's raising your child. You will speak to her in a respectful manner. You will not use vulgarities in front of her. Do you understand me? Yeah. Or the show will be over. I wanted to come on the show to have a relationship with you and Marissa. I'm, I'm tired of you always telling her bad things and she coming back and telling me with with dad right there mom i don't believe that i have told her he's bad you will never be with james then why as long as i have her. any control over it you will not be with james he's a bad guy oh, i support you she's you she's four years old because you're bad that's Damn, why i've changed Sarah. No you don't pull. know nothing no you just pull. know what you want to know oh two months ago you were Two stalking ago, her. That was a lie. Even if it's four months ago, guys, four months ago, did you not say it was a year ago he changed? He did. Two years ago. Hello. 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 Four months ago that he threatened me. I'm telling you, it's four months ago that we've been in our new house. It he doesn't matter. If it was four months, months ago, ago, six months ago. The point is, it's been recent that he was stalking you. you he just was said threatening four months, you. Six you months. were calling me. How much more You were longer? worried. You had to change your phone number because you didn't want him to have your phone number. But I'm lying, guys. When this happened with me changing my phone number and stuff, what was it about? Him. And why? Because you were tired of him calling you. He was following because you up to work. What was his excuse? Why? Do you remember? Why don't you it, tell us? I, yeah, tell me. Because I was living through you and doing what you told me to do so I could have oh. a relationship with you and Marissa. Yeah, you know what, Mom? You know, I'm going to have to yell at you for the next 45 minutes you. because you're the bad guy. I'm not oh, the bad my guy. God. I'll tell you what I got to say to you right now, Megan. Ever. You come home, you get away from him, you will have a relationship with me, you will have a relationship with your where? daughter. You will never have a relationship with me as long as you're with this scumbag. <laughs> that is the honest truth. I don't like you. We don't I've care. Never I don't liked care. You. If you I like don't me. care. You think I want this innocent little child around you? Well, she's All my daughter, times, Sharon. And that don't make a parent. Well, I would I never do nothing to her. Right. 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 Stop. Child. Okay, it comes down as simple as this. You have been just lying through your teeth up here. No, I have Yes, you yes, have you been. Have. No, okay, I hold, have you know not. what? This is the offer here. You said he got help with anger management, right? Mm -hmm. That he changed. So I'm t offering you. I've gotten help too. Well, you know what? I'm offering you even more help. Okay. Okay? I'm serious. Okay. This isn't sarcastic Steve now. This is straight up Steve. You walk out the door with your mom. I'll make sure you get counseling, parent management, anything to assist you in becoming a better mother, but on the condition that you leave James, because that's what your mom wants. She said, come home and be a part of your daughter's life if you leave him because he's a bad guy. She has permanent custody of your child. So that's the thing. You either pick her and your daughter or you pick James. Nobody's pressuring you. Make whatever decision you want. But Mom, go out that door, because you're leaving one way or the other. I need to ask her something. No, she, t she laid down the groundwork. Now you make your choice. You either oh go out that God. door or you go out that door. Oh! Oh! James. Oh! Oh! oh. I do you don't know how to I do yeah. You know what? You picked the wrong door. You picked the wrong door. Go out there and be with your scumbag friend. Go out there and be with him. Go be with that dirtbag that treats you so well. You know what? That child is in the best possible place. Your granddaughter and your son are in the best place. Be good parents to them. Thank you. Everyone's got something to say about the Steve Wilco Show. Whether you love it, hate it, or have a funny comment, drop a line in Steve's mailbag at stevewilcos.com. If I read your email on the air, I'll send you a free t-shirt. Here's my first email. 
This is the stupidest talk show I've ever seen. Steve is just too opinionated to be a talk show host. I don't really consider myself to be a traditional talk show host. I don't consider my show to be a typical talk show. And I don't think stupidest is a word. Pete wrote this next email. You may have had a lot of guests your first season because people think you are there to help them, but they can't even sit down. You only have white people on your show. There aren't too many blacks that would allow you to talk to them like that. Pete, if you actually watched my show, you would see that abusive behavior doesn't have a racial preference, and neither do I. It doesn't matter to me if someone is white or black, male or female, young or old. Abusive people will get what's coming to them. And about a year ago, I get a bombshell dropped on me. Ex-girlfriend decides to get a hold of me and tell me I have a 26-year-old daughter. Your mother robbed you of 26 years of being with your real dad. You know, it really hurts me more than it does anything. I don't know. I think she wants me back. You know, she said that she, she still loves him. You know, you never forget your first love. Everyone I ever met, I compared them to you. How do you get over loving someone for over 25 years? That's a little wacky, right? Yeah. I've been married 18 years now. I got a good life. What is the problem with you? After 20 years, you come and disrupt my life. That's I'm a... here for a DNA period, that's it. It seems like that you're still in love with them. The love for him will never go away. Are you making a story up to maybe get this man back in your life? Well, if this comes back negative, <clears throat> you put everybody through hell for no reason. No, nope. get away from my daughter. Hey, don't be rude. Lady, where the hell do you get off being rude to my daughter? You're robbing a guy possibly of 26 years of his daughter's life. Grandchildren. You no. know, the only reason she why knows. I don't light she your knows. ass up right now is because your daughter's on my stage. The results of the DNA test is that Wayne... Welcome to the show. My first guest is Wayne. Wayne, why are you here? I'm here because about a year ago, I had a bombshell dropped on me. It, you know, almost tore apart my family and everything. Well, an ex-girlfriend from 20-something years ago decides to get a hold of me and tell me I have a 26-year-old daughter. And I'm here to find, you know, I want to know, is it or not? Because I don't think it is. You dated this woman 20... Yeah, well, I was 17, she was 14. And how old are you now? I'm 47 now. And when's the last time you've seen her? Around 1985. So, 24 years ago? Yeah. Last time I saw her, she had two, about a two-year-old kid on her hip. When I talked to her, we talked for about an hour. I went my way, she went her way. And she didn't say, hey, this is No, your... she didn't tell me whether it was my kid or not. Didn't mention anything about that. And about a year ago, I get a bombshell dropped from her that, you know, now she's telling me this is my kid. And what would be her point to wait 25 years to tell you she has a child? I don't know. I think she wants me back. You know, I've got emails from her saying, you know, since she dropped this bombshell, you know. Somebody well, wants, you think she wants you back after not being with you for, since, yeah. f in 30 years? Yeah. Well, she sent me, after we, after she dropped that bombshell, she got my email address. And were you a really good looking guy when you were 17? No. <laughs> no I'm just I'm being a wise ass. Um, but, you know, she's sending me... <laughs> well, you got to admit, 30 years later, somebody yeah. out of your past... Yeah. You know... But she dropped a bombshell on me. I've been married... Well, you were a good-looking guy. You oh, look like me. the Ashton Kutchner guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I've been married 18 years now. I got a good life. You know, I don't need anybody coming in... Anybody or anything coming in and disrupting it for me. So you have children. I have a 17-year-old daughter. And how did she contact you so many years later? Well, she got a hold of one of my family members who got a hold of me because that family member wasn't going to give her my number. And I called the kid, the supposed the kid that's mine. We talked for a while, and that's when I found, that's when she dropped the bombshell on me that her mom had told her all these years that she was mine. Has this affected your family? Oh, yeah. It tore me and Peggy up for about two, three uh, months. Peggy's your wife? Yeah. First thing that comes out of her mouth is I'm li I've lied to her. You know, I don't know about this kid. Oh, she thinks that you knew about the child. Yeah. You know, I've told her everything else about my past. I didn't know I had a, you know, if it is my kid, I didn't know she was out there. Did you sleep with this woman? Yeah. Back when she was 14, I was 17 before I went to the military. 
And so it's, it's a possibility that it could be your child, right? Not in my timelines. I mean, anything's possible, but in my timelines, no. It can't be. And why is that? Because we did not sleep together after I went to the military, and that was when I was 17. And so they caused problems because now your wife thinks you, you knew about this child. Yeah. And did you tell her? No, I didn't I, I told know. her, I said, you know, but that, that wasn't, you know, the first reaction for her was, who was that and what's that all about? Well, I wasn't sure what it was all about. All I know is I'm getting told I got a 26-year-old daughter. Do you get a feeling like she might be yours or? No, so I don't. You, don't. you don't get a feeling no. that she's yours. And, and the purpose, you think the motive is that the mother is still in love with you? Yeah, you put the daughter out there, and I think she must have thought I was going to drop an 18-year marriage and load up my van and go back to Florida to be with her. Did, did she say anything like, I'd like to have you back in my life? The emails, she sent me one. I don't know what she was thinking about, but she said, the next time I talk to you, if you tell me what I think you're going to tell me, it'll make me the happiest girl in the world. What did she think you were going to tell her? I guess that I was dumping an 18-year marriage and moving to Florida? No, not going to happen. This is the email that she sent you. She says, I really have to tell you I have held on to a dream for over 20 years now. Everyone I ever met, I compared them to you. Maybe that's why I'm not married. How do you get over loving someone for over 25 years? I still have that picture of me sitting on your lap in my wallet. I know you're married, and I'm very happy for you. I just wish for over 20 years that could have been me, that's all. Your wife sounds like a good person. She just doesn't look like your type, that's all. <laughs> I don't know. So, honestly, she seems, and I haven't met her. I haven't okay. seen her yeah. backstage, but that's a little wacky, right? Yeah. The love for him will never go away. Are you making a story up to maybe get this man back in your life? You're robbing a guy possibly of 26 years of his daughter's life. Grandchildren. You no. know, the only reason she why knows. I don't light she your knows. ass up right now is because your daughter's on my stage. The results of the DNA test is that Wayne... Twenty-five years ago, and she's still pining for you. And your daughter now? Does she know about this situation? Yeah. And what does what does she think about it? You know, she didn't think I was lying about it. But why would somebody want to come in after this long and say, "Hey, here's a kid. It's yours." Well, when you had these phone conversations with the girl, what was she saying? Like, "I hope you're my father," or yeah, you know, that you know, she hopes I am her father, and this and that, you know. If you're my daughter, you know, well, what am I going to say? You took a DNA test before the show. Yes, sir, I did. What if it turns out that this girl is your daughter? Would you be angry that, I mean, 26 years, oh, if I'd this is real, your daughter, yeah. she robbed you of 26 years 26 of this young girl's of this life. Kira, from what I understand, has three kids. So now I got robbed of a daughter and three grandkids. She, yeah. Did she give you a reason why no. she didn't tell you? And... And what if it turns out she's not your daughter? If it isn't my kid, why are you coming in after 26 years and dropping this bombshell in my lap? Uh, <laughs> and, it, and if she is your daughter, will you try to have a relationship with her oh, yes, and her children? I will, but it's not a package deal. Crystal don't come with it. Oh, you're saying you don't want the mom? No. And you haven't seen this woman in 25 years? That's basically it. And she's here now, and she's going to come out, and you want to talk to this woman. Do it. Let's go. Let's bring her out. Here's Crystal. What is the problem with you after 20 years, you come and disrupt my life? I didn't disrupt your life. Not you one single a, bit. Not you one a bomb single bit. on my lap. Yeah, the last place you life. told me you were going to be in Phoenix if I ever wanted to find you. That's exactly what you told me. I went through your family. I went through your mother. I went through Well, how everybody. come I never hear from my family? And I talked to them. That's because they said month. you're not the person you, you used to be. Nothing like that. Nothing. I haven't changed that I know of. Oh, yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. Oh. You have never cussed me out. You are the most wonderful person i ever seen in my life. 
You know so what? Why didn't you tell me when I saw I you last night? I got scared. Part? Scared of what? You weren't scared of me then. Why were you scared of me now? Because you're not what you used to be. Nothing. Tell me what I used to be. You were the most sensitive, caring, loving person I've ever met. And what your family has told me, you're an alcoholic. You drink continuously. And who tells you, you that? You don't have contact with your family. But can I ask you a question? I call sure. my mother once what? a month. No people, way. how often what? do I need to? What? what the hell do you care? It's a man you haven't seen in 25 years. What do you exactly. care? Exactly. I don't care. You don't care, but you dropped a bombshell in my lap. If he's I could care less what he does with his life. It I'm here for a DNA period. That's it. It sounds like you're concerned with what he's doing. You're running a laundry list of his bad habits. I had to go through it. Oh, it, it's wrong. It is. Oh, yeah. It, it seems yeah, like fun. reading your emails that you're basically telling him you're still in love with him. Oh, I you love him to death. Him. I'm not in love with him, but I love the love for him will never go away. Never. Why? You know, it's always been there. You know, you never forget your first love. That's all it. That's all I can say. You know what I'm saying? You, but I respect his. Have I respect you ever married him. anybody else? I have. Yes. Okay, but I'm saying this was a guy you dated when you were 14 years old. Uh, 13 up. Okay, 13. Yes. I mean, Sorry. I remember the 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 girls, you know, that I liked when I was 13, 14 years old, and you know, I'm sure all of them could come out here and say you're not the same guy you were when you were 17 Well, he told or me whatever. on the phone. Well, if anybody should know you better than that, it should you should know but me better I mean, than anybody. Don't we all and change? I responded don't, as don't to, we, but don't we all change from the time well, we were 17? He told me, he says, well, you should know me better than anybody. How should I know that? I knew him 20 years ago. I don't know what he's like the past 20 years. All I want is the DNA to come back negative. I want a peace of mind. That's all I want from here. And you're still not going to know. Oh, uh, why won't I? You'll know it's not him, but you still won't know who the father of your child How is. How do I know it won't be him? Sure I do. Yeah. Sure I do. But what's the thing? Sure what's I the do. Hold on, life? man. All I'm saying is... No, you, you ruined your own life. Hold, hold on. You ruined all, your own life. It doesn't sound like a bad life. He's married. He's been in a marriage for 18 years. Okay. He's got a daughter. What, okay. what is so horrible about that? Well, I don't know what his life's been for the past 18 years. I know a part of his life. And, and I mean, the comment about she doesn't look like your type, what did that mean? That man, as I know he's an alcoholic, she looks like she doesn't even drink or anything, like a, like a nice lady. That's what that meant. How do you know he's an alcoholic? Because somebody told you he's an alcoholic? He has been since he's been the age of probably 17 years old. You're crazy. I'm crazy. There we go. Yeah, something's not right. <laughs> With me? <laughs> when I this. read the email, I got to guess you're crazy. I thought you were you're gonna, crazy, too. Y'all haven't uh, talked to my daughter that way, lady. You, you know, you're just a... You know that? Yeah. The results of the DNA test is that Wayne. I wanted a DNA. That's the only way I could try to Why find him. Why didn't you him. just ask him when you ran into him 20 years ago? Because I got scared. He was sitting around the pool drinking as usual. <laughs> sitting around drinking, sitting at a pool drunk. How do you, what do you expect? Okay. You wait, okay, you were scared, you know, and now 26, your daughter's 26 years old. This is, a, you know, you were a child when you had this relationship. You were 13, Absolutely. 14 years old. Why would you bring this up now, including... Because I'm not positive. But the point is, you, you do, 26 years later, this guy's got his life, his wife, his kid... And then you dropped this bombshell. Okay. Oh, you might be the. F I mean, think about the consequences of his marriage, his daughter. Well, and that's something. It's not between his wife and his daughter. It's between me, Wayne, and my daughter. Doesn't affect my family at all. Okay. It doesn't. It shouldn't affect it right now. No. Are you honestly? She wasn't there when I slept with you. You don't seem like a woman that scares easily. I really don't. But I've grown up a lot since then. You were scared. You wouldn't tell him eh, you might be the father, so you took the chance of robbing your daughter of her father for 26 years and being a granddad if he t ends up being the father. And that's exactly what I told him on the phone. And the response was, well, I can't do nothing about it now. Well, you can't do nothing. He didn't sure know. Sure can. That's a relationship.
He said now. He didn't say then. He said now. The point is, you broke up, right? Exactly. He didn't know you were pregnant, did he? No. He was scared then, too. He I didn't guess. know you had a child, right? No. Okay, so how would he possibly know to do any of that? I don't call girls that I dated from 30 years ago <laughs> and say, hey, you got any of my kids? I knew, <laughs> I, knew I should have called that Sasha Combine. Crazy. That's Believe crazy me, for if you I to had even any, I know about it. Like that. You're crazy. I'm crazy. There we go. Yeah. Okay. You're something. Something's not right. <laughs> With me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. I'm trying to be polite. All I want here is a negative DNA. This is close for me. That's all I want. I even said. That's all I, I want. When out I, of I this. read the email, and I hear you now, I, I gotta guess you're crazy. Why? Why would you say I'm crazy? Where is your responsibility as a mother, as a mother, when you had your baby, to inform him? You ran into him. It's not like you keep saying, well, I have to track you down. No, he was laying by the pool drinking beer. After I called him and tracked him down. Okay, That's when he left his point... first wife to come to see me. Drag up more bad crap about him. Who cares? Go ahead. My past what, don't bother what, me. What, so, he's, so he was married before. Who cares? Well, I don't care if he was married before. But you're bringing it up. You're saying it's bad now. Why would it be bad then? I'm married now, too. What's your point? You basically, fathers have rights to their children, right? Sure they do. And if he's the father, you took his rights away. For 26 yeah, years. Why 26 years later now you tell him, and come on, the goofy emails, oh, you know, I love you, I keep your picture in my wallet. Oh, I do. That's not crazy? <laughs> Why would it be crazy? crazy well you know what I keep pictures in my wallet but they're of my wife and my two children okay I'm not married okay how about a picture of your daughter oh I've got all kinds of them in my wallet but you have a picture of him <laughs> no not in my wallet that's gone now that's in a photo album probably hanging over your bed uh, not, not hardly not hardly not hardly welcome to my world I love you, I love you, I love Not you. even close. So the, the point I'm making, 26 years go by, you, you <laughs> knew where he was at, you saw him by a pool, he had all this opportunity to tell him he was a father. Why now come into his life with this bombshell? I never said he was positive, the father of her. Well, but I hope and pray to God he's not. For my sake, his well, sake. Well, if you and hope and pray, sake. why even bring up the fact that he's the father? Why would she because just tell? Because it needs to be Why a would you tell your daughter? <laughs> I mean, it needs to be a closure over my head and my daughter's. You need to fill that closure in your head. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Really? Probably a little hair would help yours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know whose hair I'd want? I'd want his hair from when he was 17. Can we see that picture again? That's the hair I want. Oh. Oh. Get away from my daughter. Hey, don't man. be free. Lady, where in the hell do you get off being rude to my daughter? No, you're just a, you know that? Yeah, so oh, are you. You're robbing a guy possibly of 26 years of his daughter's life. Grandchildren. You no. know, the only reason she why knows. I don't light she your knows. ass up right now is because your daughter's on my stage. Are you making a story up? at the cost of your daughter to maybe get this man back in your life? Absolutely not. No. Reading that email, that's what it feels like. Ab not even close. Not even close. Just not a little even. bit close? Nope. Nope. You were 13 years old. 
Not pregnant. Okay, you were 14 years old when you were pregnant? No. How old were you when you got pregnant? 17. Well, you said the last time you saw him when you were 14. That's not what I said. Oh, so you slept with him when, <laughs> you, slept with him when you were 17? Yes. And, and how many guys could possibly be the father? Just two, him or You don't even know if he's the father. And no, just, I don't. You're just slinging mud on the guy. I have that right to, to find out if he is. Why? Because you want to find out if he's the father, but you have a right to sling mud on him? And what if he's no, not the father? No, I didn't say I have a right to sling mud. I don't you just said that. that you have the That's right. That's not what I said. <laughs> Am I, I, I crazy? Right to. <laughs> I didn't agree with what you said. I just said you're slinging mud at the guy, and you said I have a right to. I meant as to let him know something if it's possible. The guy never was married to you. You oh, no. never told him you were pregnant. You never said this is your child. This guy went about living his life, married a woman that I am assuming he loves and had a daughter, and you come in and you wreck it. I didn't wreck anything. Yeah, you caused a lot of strain in his relationship. And if it's, if it's his daughter, he's got the right to be pissed off at you because you stole 26 years. Oh, he has every right years. to be angry if he wants to be. Your little girl didn't ever ask you, who's my daddy? Not until I probably mentioned something. She just grew up and assumed she was the only little girl that didn't have a father. <laughs> You're not even making no sense whatsoever. I was married. Oh, so you told her? For a her, lot of years. So you told her that guy was her father? I never said, hey, this is your dad, but... That's what I said. Hey, what did you say? Here's the either. garbage man? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What'd you, well, how did he, what did she call him? She called him dad. Well, because that's I don't my point. Know. I do not know. So you let her think another man was her father? Yeah, and hope to God he is. And because that, I don't want any part of this. None. Well, then why <laughs> are you coming to him telling him this? My daughter did. If she My thinks daughter. somebody else is her father, why didn't you just keep letting her believe that guy was her father and screwing her up in the head, and you don't even know if he's the father? And you're saying you don't want this guy in her life that, or in your That's life. That's up to them. That's up to them, too. What? 26 years later, it's up to them. That's right. That's right. Yes. You, you know, you're just a you know that? Yeah, so The thing, and you, and you know, the thing right about to. is, with your attitude, you know, I'm sure you didn't develop this personality overnight. No, and I'm I didn't. sure you didn't stop no. being, you no. know, scared yesterday. No. I'm sure you grew up around 30, 35, sure. and you had all those chances to do it. I could But not you took find it upon him. yourself. Uh, you found his mother. You found they everybody. They told me they didn't know where he was. Who found him? My daughter, Kira. Oh, your daughter found it, but yes. you couldn't. I couldn't. I went everywhere. You went everywhere. I've talked to How his did brother she find him? On the internet. Oh, so she punched his name in on oh. the internet. Oh. Hold on. No, she but actually you didn't but find you couldn't him. Do that. She didn't actually find him. She found his. And then the actually called him. And you couldn't do that, right? And then the replied to me if I felt that he was the father to leave it alone because his life was rotten. Why didn't you have the guy you were with take the DNA test? He probably would have refused it. Did you ask? I did not. Why not? Were you scared with him too? I wasn't scared with him at all. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> that guy, you could have just had the test done and found out, right? And he wouldn't have done it. Well, what if he says he wouldn't have done it? Well, I don't care if he does it or not anymore. You know what? You're an idiot. I could not. This better come out negative. That's all I got to say because I'll tell you what. You ain't nothing like you used to be. I wouldn't want my daughter involved with somebody like you. There, I couldn't do it, Wayne. I feel Fine. sorry for your daughter. Oh, no. My daughter's wonderful. She loves her mother. She'll tell you.
Your mother robbed you of 26 years of being with your real dad. You know, it really hurts me more than it does anything. Get away from my daughter. Hey, don't man. be rude. Lady, where in the hell do you get off being rude to my daughter? mother I've ever had on my stage. You talk no, about only when I come here. The way I'm you not act. like this. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. This oh, is what? No. Just an act? Oh, no. What is this, an act? I'm like this. This is how I live my life. I'm pissing you off. He should be the guy pissed off at he you. He should be pissed off. I don't blame him. Right. I, I don't blame him one bit. I want to know one way or the other. Rude is lying to your daughter her whole life, right? Yeah, that is pretty rude. You're right. Was, I'll have to agree with you on that one. And so you came here today for what? I want a DNA and I want it done. And you want to know if he's the father or not the father. That's right. And if God's on my side for any time soon, he will not be. So what if I am? After the way you talked to me, I doubt Carol even had anything to do with the you. The way the way he talked to you. I doubt it. I really the, doubt okay. it. The, the I, I really I doubt her, it. What how did he talk to you? Come out here getting in my face. What man gets in a woman's face like that? That's After not 26 respect. 26 years, and then you got nah. bombed, killed, damn it, ruined my marriage? No. You don't want me to get no. in your face? Same thing you did your first wife, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've married once before, okay? Right? Yeah. Yeah. She's, just, is she still alive? Yes, she is. Okay, good. <laughs> She's still alive, but she's a right to help me now. Tell her I said, hey. Hey, okay. I'm going to talk to your daughter. If both of you can leave the stage, and we'll bring you back out. Let's bring her out. <laughs> How you doing, Kara? Hi. You can have a seat if you like. Um, when, when did your mother tell you that Wayne could be your father? Um, it, it was a few years before uh, Kenny, my dad, had passed away. And I remember that because me and him used to fight a lot. And I got mad at him one day and told him that he wasn't my dad. And all this time, though, you're thinking that this other man could have been your father. Yeah. And when you were told that it's possibly he might be somebody else, how right. did you feel about that? There's really not any words to explain it. I mean, it's, I have my children. I have my life. I mean, that's something I could have known my whole life. I don't understand why it took so long for her to tell me. All this time goes by. You're 26 years old. You've never seen, I mean, we're gonna find out if he's your father. Yeah. But if, if he is your father, your mother robbed you of 26 years of being with your real dad. And that's, that's not fair at all. Even if I knew, and if he, if he is my father, I could have grew up with another person that could have took my life in a different way because you know I, I had a rough life growing up and what's what's your relationship with your mother like um we're pretty close we're really not as close as we used to be because we've all been through so much you know my dad like I said he passed away I found him in his kitchen um it it's just been rough these past six seven years it's you been know rough. and that's the point is why why wait all these years, when when he was alive, they could have found out if he was the father. It's easy. They're all living yeah. in the same house. And I, I understand what you're saying, you know. And she still didn't say why she didn't tell me. I don't know if it was because of my siblings, if it was because, you know, she was married. I don't I don't understand why. You know, and she didn't say why. Um, I know that she has been looking for him. I remember her talking about him since I was you know, 13, 14 years old. You've talked to Wayne on the phone, right? Yeah, I'm the one that called him. Well, right. I called his and she had um, called him and told him about it. So, and then again, that's another thing. If he thought I was not his daughter, why would he even call back? Right. You know, I'm not here to say, hey, look, you're, you're my father, you know, and it's not even When like you that. talked to Wayne, was he nice to you? Oh, yeah. He's been nice to me every single time. I've talked to his wife. I've <laughs> talked to his daughter. You know, we used to email each other on the computer, me and his daughter. Um, just, to, you know, she's younger 
10 years younger than I am almost, um, ask her how she's doing, what she likes to do for fun, if she had a boyfriend. I mean, you might even be, you know, you, you could possibly have a sister in the world yeah. too, and you wouldn't know. In your heart, like talking to Wayne, do you, do you feel like he's your father? Do you believe he's your father? The things that I've noticed growing up, I, I don't look like my other brother and sister. I don't look like the guy I grew up with. I don't look like my mom. You know what I mean? It's, and, and that's what I went by. I've always felt different from everybody. Me and my dad, we didn't get along. He always put them before me, you know? And I don't even know if you can answer this, but do you want, would you like the results to come back that Wayne is your father? No. You know, the only reason she why knows. I don't light she your knows. ass up right now is because your daughter's on my stage. The results of the DNA test is that Wayne... I don't even know if you can answer this, but do you want... Would you like the results to come back that Wayne is your father? That's, I mean, which that's, way that's a hard question. I mean, I can't say yes and I can't say no. Any anger towards your mom? There is a little bit. It's more of a hurt feeling, you know? It's, right. And I don't think I ever really looked deeply into what's really going on because she is my mom, you know? You understand what I'm saying? I do. I, I was just thinking that everything that you've been through, you come across as very heartfelt very intelligent, very in control of your emotions, and you really came out good with the tough situation that you were brought up in. Thank you. I mean, really, just talking to you, I mean, you should be proud of yourself. I mean, I don't get a lot of guests Thank like you. Thank you very much. Let's bring out your mother and Wayne. You've never seen Wayne before, right? Just on the computer. Is there anything you want to say to each other? Hi. I I told you why I'm here. You know that's all I can that's all I can do. I don't blame you for anything. You know, we just need to get this done over with. I mean, you know, yeah. you didn't know, I didn't know. You can't blame each other for anything. Right. And I don't know what went on between you and her growing up. Um, I just, I know you guys were in love because I've, I've talked to my family members about you that know you, you know, and maybe that's how she felt this whole time, but you know, you are married and I respect that and she respects that and you know, I'm, I'm glad you have a good life and, and you're married and you have other children, but she, you know, this is what she wanted to see you face to face. This is, is, this is what it is and this is what happened and you know, this this is it. Okay, I'm just saying, you know. And I don't see any uh, any connection whatsoever. So yeah. I it's no done connection. between you and her. It's done. It's not even. Yeah. We're not here for you and her. Well, it's been done for 30 years. So you're I mean, right. It's done a long time. But we're not here for you. <laughs> so you know. Well, there's two other people that are affected by this, and that's okay. your wife yeah. and daughter, Peggy and Danielle. Let's bring them out. Because oh, I can see what, what I ended up with with you. Oh no, I'm not You're like crazy, I used to lady. be either. I'm not like I used to be either. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, well, ask him. He'll tell you what I was. You know like. what? He has a yeah, damn crazy, good just father, like you are a now. damn good husband, and you know you thought you were You're crazy too. Y'all don't <laughs> talk to my daughter that way, lady. And don't talk to me that way, lady. I'll talk to you any way I want to. Yeah, I will too. But you leave my child out of it. Take her off stage then. No, why don't you get off stage? Hey, this is between Karen and my dad. Why are you here? This is between me. Your dad. You know and what? No. My daughter. This affects you ruin our family. You. This affected it our life. my sister. It is between me, lady, because this is my sister are, if she's my dad. Oh, 
hope to God she's not. Well, you know this what? is not it for my kids. It's unfortunately, uh -huh. if he's not, then the girl does not still does not know who her father is. Oh, absolutely. That's she absolutely does know. That's not true. Michelle. That I do know. You know if, and if he is her father, well, you made her miss out on a damn good father. And that's true, too. That is true. You're right. You will have to agree with you on that one. I'm sitting here feeling like a child. I'm almost 30 years old. It's right, and it's not fair to you. It's not you fair. You are the to, most innocent person of this whole situation. And that is the reason why you're here. But I don't it ain't because of you two, I can guarantee that. It's not because of you two. I can Wait, guarantee okay, that. Okay, I have but something to say. This still involves us in this. It's 26 oh, years when we're in what? This is it right here, so let's just find out. Well, if this comes back negative, <clears throat> you put everybody through hell for no reason. No, for I didn't. Years. I get a four-quarter in my life. <laughs> there is really no good result. Yeah, there, there is a good there result. There is no to good the whole result thing. because. If he is, we the, know. We if, all know. That's if the he thing. is, if he is the father, you robbed him. You robbed your daughter of 26 years of being together. That I have. To, I agree with you on if that. If he's not the father, you, you, I can't imagine. And thank God, your daughter's a super, super lady, super young lady. She's wonderful. She's well adjusted, and but still, even with all that, the emotional roller coaster that you must have put her on, yeah. that you put Wayne on. That you put his wife on, that you put his daughter on. This roller coaster. How do you think I felt for emotion. all these years? It revolves around you, me too. You could have took on hair from the hairbrush to find out if it's, the man was your daughter. You wouldn't have had to gone through all this. <laughs> the results of the DNA test is that Wayne. The results of the DNA test is that Wayne is not the father. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm sorry. Uh, but no, that's Ooh. fine with me. That's, that's okay. Okay. Thank you, God. <laughs> and, that, and that's fine. May I say something to her? You say whatever you want. You are still welcome to call our house. Oh, I We will have I something know. to do with you. That. You are always welcome to call our house. You can call and talk. You can, we may not have answers for you, but you're right. still always welcome to oh, call I, our house I, and we'll I know. listen. Well, and you know what? And this is fine. It's fine because. I'm, I'm astounded. I'm, I, I know who my father is now, exactly you know? I mean, I. Well, that's. That's that's the craziness of it all. But he's not here. That's the only thing that's not right. 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 But yes. the point is, you were made to believe that he Kira. wasn't your father. Get away from my daughter. Hey, don't man. be rude. Lady, where in the hell do you get off being rude to my daughter? You know what? Now you, sh you, you show care and love and you want to comfort her? Yes, you it, oh, I always comfort my daughter. You created this crazy comfort mess. Comfort my daughter. She knew who her father was. You put doubt in her head. You probably gave her hope that he was her father. I have never given her hope just on anything as a You 50, just destroyed it. You no. know, the only reason she why knows. I don't light she your knows. ass up right now is because your daughter's on my stage. <laughs> For your own selfish reasons. You know what? Did it make you feel reasons. good to make two of them cry? Because you're a Sorry. rude person and you had no reason to talk to my Sorry. daughter that way? 26 years. I apologize. I'm sorry. You apologize and what? Makes all the year of hell worth no. going through it? You but I am the, the mother. I should beds? be the one comforting her. Yeah, you should. You should have been right. doing it a long time ago. I come for my kids every day. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Why? My kids are my you, life, and you, they know it. You know what? You, you they made know this it. crazy, crazy story up. And for what reason? Crazy story? Because yeah. it was a possibility. I think you, the guy that you thought that it was, that you were living with, you asked him first. He is you the father. You don't wait 26 years. He is the father. Well, yeah, now we know.
And, and he's that's been why the I'm here. That's but the only reason why I'm here. But you let her to believe that he wasn't the father. She no, felt, I let her to believe that it's you know possibly she, he's not. She told me she felt like he wasn't her father. That's your daughter saying that. Yes, I heard her say that. Well, yes, how does I did. that make you feel as a mother that you put that in her head? But you know what? There's a lot of a lot of different things went on before she was even told that. Her. My stage. Yeah. I certainly this I I believe that this certainly helps you and your family knowing the truth now finding out the facts, and I hope whatever damage was caused in your marriage, you can move past that yeah. and continue on and, and, yeah. and be will. happy we with will. each other. We will. We've been working on Thank it. Thank you. We're getting there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. That was not right, anything that my mom did, you know, but one thing that she does do is she does love us. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I want her to do that. And I hope she's a good mother to you moving forward. And your mom must have did a pretty good job of raising you because you're, you're a together person. Yes. Um, <laughs> but that has to be a very um, hard thing to go through. And yeah. knowing this for about seven, but seven But you know years. what? I feel so much better now. Well, I'm glad. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I'd also like to do is I, I'm glad you feel better, and we'd like to offer you counseling if you would like to. When was the last time you seen your daughter? It's been over a year. Your daughter wrote a letter, and she was too nervous to read it on stage. So I want you to listen to what she has to say. Dear Christy, why did you leave me? I know why you left me. You don't want any kids. The funny thing is, you gave birth to me, and now you don't want me. There was and no effort to contact me. Jail, so you can be a part of your daughter's life. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Christy. And Christy, I'm told that your 10-year-old daughter wants to confront you. Correct. That's Is, correct. And why would it be that a, your 10-year-old daughter would want to confront you? I've been in, in and out of her life for the whole 10 years that she's been around. Why is that? Um, due to a few reasons. Um, me and her father did not get along at all. So I left. Um, and I've also why didn't you I've take been married three times. Why well, didn't you take your daughter with you when you left? We went through a court battle, and it didn't turn out in my favor. So he, she was awarded to him? Yes. When was the last time you seen your daughter? Um, it's been over a year. Why has it been over a year since you've seen your 10-year-old little girl? We live in different states, and... You know, I don't, I, I don't get that. We live in different states. That's your excuse. This is your little girl we're talking about, right? Right. Do you love your daughter? Yes, I do very much. Okay, so if my daughter lived in a foreign country, I'd go see her. You know, you're... <laughs> you live in different states. Okay, you live in different states. Why don't you go see your daughter? Why don't you get on a bus, a plane, a train? I don't have any money to get on a bus, a plane, or a train. Well, why don't you go get a job? I have been. <laughs> yeah, you have been. So, in the past eight years, how many times have you seen your daughter? So she's 10 years old. You haven't seen her in a year. So, in the past eight years, how, how, long, how many times have you seen your daughter? Mm, approximately about 45 times. 45 times. Eight years, 45 times. It says here, it's only 35. Your daughter told us 35 times. Is it possible she's more accurate? No. No? Because you would know. You haven't seen her in a year. Right. And it's because different states again, right? Yeah. Get your ass up.
And if it wasn't for my show, when would be the next time you see your daughter? I have no idea. I have no idea. If it wasn't for your show, I probably wouldn't be able to. Your daughter wrote a letter, and she was too, ner too nervous to read it on stage. She's a 10-year-old girl, so that's understandable. So I want you to listen to what she has to say. Dear Christy, why did you leave me two times? I know why you left me the first time. You don't want any kids. The funny thing is, you gave birth to me, and now you don't want me. You know why you left the second time. I don't. Don't say it's because you were going to go to jail. Because my dad says all you had to do is 15 days in jail and go to court. And then you could see me. How hard is that? Why didn't you go to jail for 15 days like you said you were going to? Oh, I know why. Because you don't want me. For your information, you are missing out on a smart and intelligent kid. I hope leaving was worth losing me. I might miss you, but I won't ever forgive you. I was four when you left the first time. The second time, you didn't even say goodbye. Would you like to miss someone so much that you pick at your skin and pull out your teeth? That is how much I miss you and want you to be a part of my life. Did you ever even call me or send me a homemade card? No, you didn't. I, Michaela, am so mad that I don't want you to call me baby. I don't want to call you mom or mommy from Michaela. That's uh, pretty harsh stuff coming from your daughter. There's two things I take from that message I just heard. One, she's so hurt she doesn't even call you mom. She called you Christy. And she's pulling her teeth out. She's picking at her skin. But the other thing I, I thought, you don't have any money, right? Right. But did you send her any letters, cards, anything? No, sir. You couldn't scrape up 42 cents or whatever a stamp costs now? You couldn't scrape up 42 cents to send your daughter a letter. You couldn't borrow somebody's phone to make a phone call? Are you, are you telling me that? I had no number to contact her. But you had an address, right? No, I didn't have an address. So you don't know where she's at? I know she's some, well, I know what state she's in, but I don't know what physical address she's so at. So that's your excuse, why you didn't write a letter or why you didn't make a phone call? You're going to tell me that's it? I have been in contact through my family, which she goes and sees. Right, so if the family's in contact, then you know where she lives then. What, they're all keeping her away from you? No. It's a big conspiracy? No, sir. Well, then what is it, Christy? If you know where she's at, then why don't you send her a letter? I don't have the... Why wouldn't you tell a family member, you know, here's something, I, I you know, I, I picked a flower for my daughter, uh, you know, did something like that, give it to my daughter, because you're saying you have family members that are in contact. Why wouldn't you do anything for your daughter? Did you buy a birthday present? No. Christmas present? No. Nothing. Do you meet men? No. <laughs> When's the last time you've been with a man? The last time I've been with a man? Yeah. Two days ago. Two days ago. So you'll make an effort to be with the man, but no effort for your daughter. Did you have a good time with the guy? Yeah. Yeah. And here your daughter's at home, picking at her skin, picking her teeth out, because she misses you so much. What is this about the 15 days in jail that she's talking about? Uh, I'm court ordered to do 15 days in jail for child support. And the state that she lives in? Mm hmm Correct. Hmm. Maybe that's why you're not going back. Maybe that's you don't correct. want to do... F okay, so that's the truth. You don't even care about seeing your daughter. You just don't want to do the 15 days in jail. No, that's just on top of it. I would love to see my daughter. Oh, you would love her, but you won't go back because you know you'll do 15 days in jail. I don't have the money to get back. You don't have the money <laughs> to get back. It's quite a big distance from where I am so to where there, So was there a warrant out for your arrest? Yes, sir. So why don't you just go to a police station and turn yourself in? Maybe they'll transport you back so you can do your 15 days. Probably would.
That never crossed your mind? That did. But well, I also why didn't have, you do it? I also have another child. Oh. So, but the child's with you? No. Your other child? It's still in the court proceedings. But you don't have the other child either. It's in the court proceedings. Just answer the question. You don't have the other child either, do you? Half the time, yes, I do. Half the time. So how about spending the other half with that child, with the one that just you heard? I would love to. You would love to. Yes, I would. But you won't do 15 days in jail. I didn't say that. You're basically saying that. You won't go I and do the time. I don't want to, no. Why don't, you, why don't you go and get the 15 days knocked out so you can go see your daughter? I don't know why. I just haven't. You don't know why. I don't want to That's do 15 excuse. days in jail. Well, too Nobody bad. Does. Who caused <laughs> it? Who caused you to get 15 I days did. in jail? I did. And why did you get 15 days in jail? Because I couldn't afford to pay my child support. Okay. So then go do the 15 days in jail. Oh, by the way, $10,000 behind, right? I, if that's what he told you, I guess so. Why, why are you here today? Because I want to help my daughter. If she's hurting herself, I would like to, if by her bringing me here, to let you yell at me and for her to yell at me. Am I yelling me, at you? No, sir. I, am not, I yet? Being, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Oh, that's, you, what do you find funny? I why just, are you laughing? It's intimidating, Steve, that's all. It's intimidating. Yes, sir. Do you think it's intimidating for a little girl that, to be by herself wanting her mother, knowing that her mother's not making an effort, knowing that mom should go to jail for 15 days but doesn't want to do it, doesn't see me? Why are you crying? Because it just upsets me. What upsets you? The whole situation. The whole situation. Does it, does it hurt you that your daughter's taking her teeth and pulling them out of her mouth? Yes, sir. It does. That she's ripping her flesh apart. She's hurting herself because of you. Because of you. And you make no effort at all to contact your daughter. None. I don't understand. There was and no effort to contact me. Oh, so let's at blame all. the 10 year old. I get it. I ain't blaming the 10 year old. You're the victim. I am not You're blaming the 10 year old. What about there the father? There was no effort. What about the father? The, the, the 10 year old don't have to. What about her father? This little girl doesn't care about disputes between mommy and daddy. You know what? You don't get to be that selfish. If it wasn't you for daddy, what? we'd you still be together. If it wasn't for, you know what? How many people out there are divorced and they still see their kids? You have no reason. Are you, are you a drug addict? No, sir. Were you in jail? No, sir. P the past year, were you in jail? No, sir. Okay, so, you know, when I ask people, why didn't you see your kid in the last month? Well, I was in jail. Well, okay, that's a good answer. There's a reason. I can't because I was in, you know, I was in prison or I was in jail. So, so basically, it's just. So, if I would have been a drug addict or an alcoholic, it you would have been no okay? reason to go see your daughter, and you say you love her, and I say I do you love don't. Her. You have no reason not to see her, and you want to blame it. Well, nobody contacted me. Why couldn't they have contacted me? I mean, like me? my God, it's the same thing. Well, this is a ten-year-old child. It's your responsibility. You're the and mother. This is a child. And as soon as I got a number. When you were laying on that delivery table and she came out of you, what did, what did you think? Is she your firstborn? Yes. So your firstborn? What did you feel? Love. Love. That took you a while to respond. <laughs> it's interesting. You had, to, you had to think for a minute what the... I cried like a baby when my children were born. And you know what? Every day... Every day, Daddy goes home. There's, you can't give me an excuse why you have, you can't, you can't even muster up a lie of why you can't come up with 42 cents to send her, your daughter a letter. I love you. I miss you. I don't then, have her address. You have family members that you can, can you don't even need to stay. Put hey, you know what? When you see my daughter, have, give her this. I have Why sent didn't her you? things. No, you haven't. Yes, you said I you have. didn't. You said you haven't given anything. Not in the last You're, year. So you're calling her well, why? That's what I'm saying. In the last I, year, why can't she have anything? She wants this is your daughter asking for it. This is your daughter asking for it. 
Why? Why nothing in past year? I didn't have anything to give. You didn't have anything to give. How about, I love you, I miss you? Because you don't have that to give. No, sir, I don't. Because you don't I don't know it. how to be a mother. I'm so, <laughs> so you, you know, you don't know how to be a mother, so screw your daughter. Too bad, she's got to pay the price. Oh, well, figure it out yourself. Figure out how to grow up to be a woman. Because I ain't going to help you. What? That's what I did. Oh, the victim again. Yeah. The victim again. I love it. I love it. But so now you're going to do that to your daughter? You had to do it? So you know how hard it was and how bad it was, right? Yeah. And, and now you're going to do it to her. You're going to turn around and do it to her. No. It's not the same. She has Alice. She has her father. She has... Uh, excuse me? Who's her mother? Who's her mother? I am, am I looking at her? No. You want to pass the buck to somebody else? They wanted me out of the picture. This they is got a me child out. we're talking about. I hear that child that wants her mom. She's destroying her own body over you. And you want to pass the buck? They wanted me out so bad they got what they wanted. They got what they wanted. And you let them? You let them? You let them get, take you out of your daughter's life? You'd have to kill me before you take me out of my children's life. <laughs> what are you crying for? Are you crying for yourself or are you crying why? Why are you crying? You said you don't love your daughter. Huh? She's got to figure it out on her own. No. What, are you, what are you crying for yourself? I never said I didn't love my daughter. You said you I don't what? love if my daughter. You know what? If you're not there for him and you don't send her anything in the past year, that's so not love. Presents are love? <laughs> Are presents love? You keep going back to presents. You keep going. I don't bring up presents. You just did. You, no, I, I don't didn't. send her nothing. Is that love? A letter. I said, can you send her a letter saying, I love you, I miss you. She, you heard your own daughter say, how about a handmade card? Something. Nobody's talking about presents. You know what? I'll buy her a present after the show, okay? I'll pay it out of my own pocket. <laughs> so stop bringing up the presents part. I'll take care of that. I'm a stranger and I'll take care of that. How about getting your ass and getting to go see her. That's what we want. We want, guess what? Yes, on this show, we want mothers to be mothers. And we want you to be there for your children so they don't pull their teeth out and ravage their flesh. That's what we want. And you have an excuse for this and an excuse for that. So why are you here? I want to help you, my daughter. You want to help your daughter. Yes, I want her to why not be hurt why, herself. Why now? Why now? Why now? Well, she wanted it. Oh, so she didn't want it, you wouldn't be there? No, that's not true. Well, I'm asking you. I wouldn't be here. You're right, you wouldn't be here. I flew you out here, right? Yes, sir. So the only way you'll go see your daughter is if somebody like me picks up the tab so you can go see your daughter. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty yeah. if, that gives, if that's the only way I can see her, then yes, sir. Well, I'm not yes, sir. You know what? I'm not doing it for you. I'm not doing it for you. Hey, I, I get the benefit of it. Maybe. At least I get a seer. You know what? At least I get a seer. You Steve. know what? Maybe. Maybe. This is my show. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm doing this show for your daughter. I'm doing what's best for her. And maybe not seeing mom is the best thing. Yeah, I agree with you. Maybe it is. That's not what I want to hear. I want to hear. I don't know how to be a mother. <laughs> you don't know how to be a mother. Do you know how to show love to another human being like that man you did two days ago? You know how to do that though, right? Yeah.
What was the excuse of not, you know, what, you know, this a different state. That's what everybody says. I always, it drives me crazy. Different states. Because you're selfish, because all you care about is yourself. You, you take care of your needs, your physical needs. Then you take care of the needs of staying out of jail. That's why you don't go back. That, I bet you, if I gave you a lie detector test, that would be the number one reason why you don't go back to see your daughter. Because you don't want to do the 15 you days You don't have jail. to give me a lie detector. I'll admit to it. That is one there of you the go. main reasons. There That's you go. one of the main reasons. I didn't make any promises to you that you get to see your daughter. So I'm going to talk to your daughter. But before I do that, I want you off my stage. I don't even want you being backstage being able to see her. And then after talking to her, I'll decide whether you get to see her or not. Get off my stage. Hi, Sue. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Have a seat. How are you doing? Good. I hear you got a, a little bit of a problem where you're trying to hurt yourself. Mm-hmm. And why are you doing that? Because I want her to be a part of my life. You want your mom to be part mm -hmm. of your life? And why do you want that, honey? Because she's my mom and I want her to. Your father told us he believes you do this because you feel that it may be your fault. Yeah, I think that she thinks I'm just a stupid kid. Well, listen, you're 10 years old and it's not your fault. You know what, it's, it's your mom's fault. That's whose fault it is. Because her dad is in her life and you have a good dad and he takes care of her. So that's the one good thing that you have. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give you everything that you need, counseling, somebody to talk to, mm -hmm. you know, if you want anything, you let me know. I'll give it to you myself. But remember, be a kid. It's not your fault. It's, it's, the, it's the adults that what your mom is doing to you, what she's not doing. She's not doing anything for you. You want to see your mom? Mm-hmm. If you see her today, is, is it going to help you? Yeah. Man, I don't know. I, you know what? You're a sweet little girl. And you've done nothing wrong. And if that's what you want, then I'm going to give you what you want, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> I'm told that you're nervous to see your mm -hmm. mom. Well, why are you nervous? Because I'm afraid she's going to yell at me. You're afraid she's going to yell at you? Mm -hmm. Well, I can promise you this. I'm going to be here. You don't have anything to be scared of. And your mom's not going to yell at you, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to be here, and I'll make sure she doesn't yell at you, okay? What are you going to say to your mom? I don't want her to call me baby, or I don't want to call her mom. You want to meet her now? Mm -hmm. You want to see her? You're a very brave girl. And you know what? Even at being a 10, I think you know you got more up here than your mom. <laughs> I'm going to bring your mom back out. Mm -hmm. And I'm even going to let her sit so she can sit next to me. I don't want her to sit next to me. Oh, well, you got the wish. This is for you and whatever you want, okay? So I'm gonna bring her out mm -hmm. and you can say whatever you want and whatever we need to make this right so you stop hurting yourself, that's what we're gonna do, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's bring out your mother. My baby. I don't call me I'm that. Sorry, I'm okay with You're so pretty. I'm so sorry. I don't see 
why. <laughs> I'm sorry I screwed up. I didn't know how to be a mom. Then why did you have kids? <laughs> just... Sometimes it just happens. <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't care about you. Just because I don't know how to be a mom doesn't mean I don't care. <laughs> At least you could be a part of my life. <laughs> I would like to. I didn't believe that. came to pick me up from the wing, I didn't even know who we were. I'm sorry that you don't know who I am. I'm sorry, most of all, that I don't know who you. I didn't mean to hurt you. I never meant to hurt you. Why didn't you go to jail like you said you were going to? I was afraid to. You could have gone for 15 days and then saw me again. <laughs> wasn't that simple. How wasn't it? I was getting told from other directions that he was your Dad was trying to tack more time on there, and no, he, he was, was going to go for court for you, so you could be a part of my life. He'd say one thing in front of you and say something completely different. You know different. what? Don't talk bad about the father. He's there in her life every day. I didn't leave you. <laughs> I would have loved to have took you with me. I couldn't. <laughs> you used to beg me not to bring you back. Please, just take me. That's kidnapping. I can't do that. <laughs> I'd take you right now if I could. I can't. <laughs> I don't believe that. Because <laughs> you haven't bought for me when I was in Tennessee either. When you had me. I talked to lawyers. I tried. They... You sent me on the plane by myself. You wouldn't even keep me there. I couldn't. I couldn't keep you. He was going to call you in kidnapped. That send out Amber Alerts. I talked to lawyers. They said that he could do that. You know what? This is a 10-year-old girl, your <laughs> daughter, who hasn't seen you over a year, and you're telling her about lawyers and everything else. Here's your chance, you haven't seen her in over a year. How about expressing some of that love or whatever you have for your daughter? How about getting down on your knees and asking for forgiveness from your daughter? I can't see why you would. You can't see why I would love you? Look in the mirror, you're beautiful. You have not done anything wrong not to be loved. <laughs> Anybody would be lucky to love you. That's why Alice does. And I'm glad Alice is there. I am. I'm glad she loves you. And I'm glad you love her. That's why you told her <laughs> just to give me the <laughs> That was just out of anger. I didn't mean that. Oh, Just like did? they want me to sign my rights away. I won't do it. I want her to adopt me, that's why. If that's what you really want, we can talk about that. All I right? want her to adopt me because you're not there for me. It's fair. I would like to be. I'm trying, Michaela, I'm trying. Tell, tell Michaela all the things you've been trying. 
I've been Tell trying it. to Tell get it, things together. <laughs> when I left last year, I've been I've been homeless. I just got myself a place. <laughs> and that's when I contacted everybody with the phone number to give to you. And that's how you got a hold of me. <laughs> Before you did have a phone. No, I didn't. That's why you could call the house. I borrowed a phone to call. And I didn't have your phone number. I don't know that. I know you don't know that. That's you why I was got telling it from you. And you had the P.O. box to send me even a homemade card. I lost and the P.O. box. I lost all of it. I didn't have none of my stuff. <laughs> that may just sound like an excuse to you, but it's true. You don't know my favorite color. You don't know my favorite it animal. Used to be, it used to be yellow. No, it's not. It used to be. Now it's black. <laughs> and you don't even know my favorite animal either. Would you like to tell me? And I'll tell you now, the only one that's allowed to buy it for me is mom in the back. Okay. It's a cow. A cow? Mm-hmm. She started my collection for me, too. Sounds like she's been really good to you. She has. She's been there for me thick and thin. I'm glad. Can I hug you, please? You could have kept me in Tennessee. Can I have a hug from you, please? No, not yet. If you're going to be a part of my life, at least you just don't think it's good. Will you go back and do those 15 days in jail so you can be a part of your daughter's life? Is this what you brought from your other daughter, from Michaela? <laughs> she painted that for you. Very nice of her. So a little. I can tell she painted it. <laughs> How old is your sister? Um, I don't know. She's two. Last time She's I two. Checked. She'll be three in December. So December fifth. So a two-year-old made the effort to make this little girl a gift. That's something. She was able to do it, two-year-old. Yeah. Of course, she probably didn't have no help, did she, Steve? Okay. Yes. Michaela, all I want to say is I look at you, and somebody's doing a good job with you. And I think it's, I'm sure it's dad. My stepmom and my dad. Okay, your stepmom and your dad. They're doing a great job with you. And, and, I, and I say, I'm always amazed that when a 10-year-old that comes on my show has the courage to, to confront somebody, to, to stand up to somebody that's not treating them well or not treating them right. And you know what I always think in my mind? I hope my little girl grows up to be as strong as Michaela. I want her to be like you. Is there anything else that you want to say to your mom? Because I'd like to talk to your mom alone now, but if there's anything I know else I you want to say. I have one more thing to say. Sure. If you're going to be a part of my life, at least be just as thick as thin. That's all I got to say. Okay, okay. Come on with me. Michaela? That's for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back out and talk to your mom, and I'll be back. Okay. You did a good job. Thanks. Did a great job. Hi. Beautiful little girl, huh? Smart, intelligent. I'd want to be in her life every day of her life, and all this stuff about different states, this and that. Here's the deal I'm gonna make for you. Okay. You, do you love her? Yes. Do you want to be part of her life? Yes. Do you really mean it? Yes. Okay. So, I'm not going to yell at you. I think you've been a terrible mom, which you would have to agree yourself. Yes. But what I'll do to be part of your life, you know, you'd have to do the 15 days in jail, right? Right. So, 
if I fly you back to the state where you have to do the 15 days, and I go backstage, and I ask, and I get your ex to say on tape that if you do the 15 days, that he will let you be part of your daughter's life. He will let you see her. And I'll pay for you to go back. Will you go back and do those 15 days in jail so you can be a part of your daughter's life? Yes. You'll do it. Yes. So, you're not going to go alone, though, this time. I'm going to send one of my police officers, and they're going to take you to jail, okay? You understand that? I'm not just going to give you a plane ticket to wherever you're going. Somebody's going to escort you, and they're going to take you and turn yourself in. So, let's just be clear about what we're going to do here, okay? When? <laughs> How about right after this show's no. over? I can't Okay, do wait, that. well, you know what? Let me get comfortable. I do well, have hold, responsibilities. Hold on, hold on. You may not believe so. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me get comfortable. When's good for you? When's good for you? When's good for you? I don't know. You don't know. I think you could sit up here and make an excuse that you live out of state, you had no money, and I'm telling you, I'll give you the plane ticket. I will make sure you do the 15 days. I'll even get the man in back to let you be part of your daughter's life. But you want to do it on your timetable. I can't do that. Not. <sighs> you don't have your other daughter right now. No, but I do this weekend. Well, you know 15 what? 15 days. Maybe I'll that's let two you, weeks. I'll let you use my own personal cell phone, and we'll make sure we'll make proper arrangements for that daughter. That somebody's taking care of her. You want to keep spitting out BS? We'll do whatever it takes to correct the situation. So I'm telling you, we'll make sure that the, wherever your daughter's at now, your other daughter, that she's taken care of. After the show, you go with that police officer, get on a plane, and go turn yourself in, do the 15 days, and the moment you get out, your daughter Michaela will be there waiting for you. I can't do that. Then you know what? I'm was hard enough then to you know what? Here. Get off my stage and goodbye. I made your mom the best offer. The best offer anybody's going to give her. And it's hard for me to tell you that she didn't take it. I don't care. I know you do, though. I know you do care. And I'm sorry about it. But you know what? We're going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure you get counseling or therapy or anything that you need. And you've got a good stepmom. And you know what? Take the love from them. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Someday, you're not going to be the one with regrets. It's going to be your mom that has the regrets. Someday your mom's going to be asking you for things because you're going to be successful. And you're probably end up being a great mom someday. And I know that's hard to imagine at 10 years old. I can't believe that my little sister made me, my little half sister made me this and she couldn't make me something like this. Again. We're going to give you any help that you need. And you can call me. You, your dad can call me. Your, your stepmom can call me. And whatever you need. But you got to make me a promise, okay? We're going to give you a therapist to talk to, a counselor, a good friend of mine. But you got to promise me you'll stop hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. And tell me, say, Steve, it's not my fault. It's not my fault, Steve. Good. Mr. That's, Steve. No, you call me Steve. Mm -mm. You know what? You just be a loving person just like you are. And whatever you need, you call me, okay? Okay. Come on. 
This is this is my friend Jim. Hello. How are you? He, he's a great friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And anytime you need to speak, and he's a professional, and he'll help you get through this and, and make sure we don't, you don't. I'm very thankful for that. Well, let's go have fun with your family. Come on. All right. I think my husband's cheating on me. That he had like about five or six different email accounts to meet up with other women. And you said that he cheated on you before? When he cheated on me, I was pregnant. How old was the girl that he was sleeping with? 15 or 16. And when I was with her, she seemed a lot older. And she told me they had sex in my house. Before the show, he took a lie detector test, right? Mm-hmm. In your heart, and you feel it's got five or six different profile sites, like not on dating anymore. Sites. I closed them down. You closed them down. How did, how did you know that he that he had them? Because I have his Yahoo, and I went to his Yahoo, and when you go and apply for an account on something, they send you a confirmation email. I saw several confirmation emails that he had applied for other accounts. How does that make you feel? Like, I'm not good enough. Like, our marriage doesn't mean anything to him. Like, everything that we go through is for nothing. And you have, you have children together? We do. We, uh, yeah, we have two little girls. You have two little girls. And how old are, are your girls? Six and three. Six and three. And you said that he cheated on you before? Before we got married, yeah. And you were pregnant at the time? Uh, yeah. He was cheating on me before I got pregnant, Steve. He was cheating on me with the same girl for six months. So he was having a long-term affair there. He had a girlfriend. Call me crazy, but why did you marry him? We went through premarital counseling. We went through putting God classes, putting God first classes, learning how to put God before ourselves to deal with our problems and everything. He played that role so So even so though well. he cheated on you, you thought that he changed, that yes. he really, he's making an effort, he's going to these religious counseling sessions and, and you feel it made a difference in them. Yeah, we didn't get married till about a year and a half, two years later after I found out he cheated. Okay, so this so good. You you gave it some time. You gave him some time to prove himself that maybe he's changed, that he wants to be with you. And during that time after you went to counseling, did he, did he change? Yeah. How old was the girl that he was sleeping with? Um, 15 or 16. So she basically was a child. Her, she was a child. Not, we're not talking about an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old. She was a little girl. The girl lied about her age, is what I was told. For six months, you don't know? Like I you said. You don't know the, the high school Jack and I? I there? never I said mean. I believed it. <laughs> I, yeah, for real. Uh -uh. <laughs> the, uh, the, the prom, something should have tipped them off. That's what's so funny about it. In his admitting what he did, he said um, that she was a certain age, said she went to a certain school, told me she lived in a certain area, told me details, unnecessary details, like where they even had sex. Everything he had told me was a lie. The way I, reason I know he was lying about what was supposed to be the truth was because a couple days later, I made him put his hand on the Bible and say he didn't remember her phone number. He did, I had him call her. I got the little girl on the phone, and she told me, I'm 16, and I live a block away from you. Oh. And she don't go to the school, he said. They didn't have sex where she said. They had sex in my house. What if she said, you know, hey, you're sleeping with children. Would you go on through it because she's accusing that? Oh, I'm sorry, you did that already. I am so in love with you. You know what else I can do? to prove to you that I love you. Chase me. Would you chase your wife if she ran? <laughs> uh... And so what sacrifices have you made for him? Uh, my life, my career. You know, I want to move and start my career, and he doesn't want to move because his grandmother's elderly. Out of love, of course, I will stay with my husband until he's ready to go. But if he's not in love with me, why? And before the show, he took a lie detector test? Yes, and thank you for that.
In your heart, if you had to tell me how you feel, do you feel he's cheating on you? My, because of what happened, I have became so insecure that I cannot tell what is me thinking and what is my insecurities. You know, you're a mother, you're raising two little girls, and I think no matter what, when, when somebody's posting six different online accounts, whether he's act upon or not, it's kind of pretty disrespectful to you. It's, I think, th the point of what's your, what motivation would you have to do that? One motivation only, tr you know, really trying to hook up with somebody else. Yeah, he tried to say that he was mad. Now, if I don't he was know, mad. if you want to revenge someone, don't they need to know you're getting revenge on them? If you're secretly making accounts, you're not doing that to get back at me, because I don't even know you're doing it. Right. You what, know? What would he be mad about, though? Me accusing him of cheating. He would be mad that I accuse him of cheating. So he says, since well, I'm he's... accusing him, he might as well go do it. Does he work? It sounds like he's got a lot of time. He's sitting around chattering on sites. and. The man works. That is a quality. Working man is a quality that is really hard to find. He, when we don't have money, or if there's a time where we both were not working, he will get up at five in the morning, get on the bus and go to a day labor place to make sure he gets whatever we need. And after that, there's days where he'll sit there forever and come home and they didn't even offer him a job, but he sits there to make sure he takes care of his family. Well, that's, that's, that's a real good quality to have, but don't you as, you know, uh, uh, obviously a very proud, strong, hardworking woman yourself, don't you deserve the other quality and that's somebody to really love you for you. That is why I'm here. So I, I, I guess if I, if he has that quality, Bob, I'm, I'm going to ask you, is he a good father? He is a great father. He is a great father. Sometimes I feel like he's a better parent than I am. He reads to the kids every single night. There is not a night that but goes isn't, by. Isn't, and, it, isn't being a good dad, isn't it being a good father, being respectful to your children's mother? Yeah. When he's with you, is he, is he loving to you? He's loving to me until we get into like a little argument. It could be over any tiny thing. Once he gets mad, he doesn't love me anymore. And I, I see when you say that, you, I could feel the hurt coming out of you. Because you should be able to be mad and not stop caring about the person. You know, he, he gets mad and he doesn't care about anything about me at all. Like, you know the movies where the girl walks away and the guy goes and chases her down? You know what I'm saying? He doesn't care at all. I could go get hit by a car and he will sit in the room and ignore the fact that the police are at the door telling him his wife just got hit by a car. I guess I, I feel sorry because I am blessed that I, I have a good marriage and I, I know that if my wife gets mad at me, she still cares about me. That and. It's, it's sad that you don't have that. We should be able to argue, disagree, and say, okay, you know what? The biggest point right now is I love you, and we can talk about the rest of this later, or write each other in some journals or something to where we don't have to argue. And just, you know, when those arguments start stretching to the point to where the love is gone, you have to remember how much you love each other, bring it back. Do you ever stop loving him? No. You, you love him all the time. I've been a damn fool for this man. You don't understand what it's like to go out to work and come home to a dirty house. When I found out he was bringing another woman to my house, she can clean my house. I, I swear, I don't know the results of this, but I really don't want to read them. Read the results, Steve. Have you cheated on your wife since you've been married? You answered no. Did you raise lie detector test results is that
before the show. He no. And I heard, uh, I was told that he says he's single in them, right? Yeah. I got to say, I'm, I'm looking at you and I see this very impressive, very beautiful woman. And I would say any man would be lucky to have you. Tell that to my husband when he come out here. I will. Please. I will. And so, you've been married for five years, right? We've been married for three years. We've been together, been together for, for five, five years. And, and three months into the marriage, you thought he was cheating on you? No, three months into the marriage, he told a family member of mine that he wasn't in love with me. That, that, I, mean, that's... I confronted him about it, and he told me that he didn't say that. He was just upset at the time, and he told that family member that he felt like sometimes he's not in love with me. To me, well, that's, it seems the same. It is the same. I mean, because you shouldn't have to think about it. Especially when you first get married, isn't that the time where Thank everything's you. perfect? Thank you. It's and, three months. And what was the reason he cheated on you the first time? Hanging out with a bunch of single men. Married men should not kick it with a bunch of single men because they see what those men get to do and they start feeling like they're missing out. The thing is, though, there's always going to be temptation out there. Yeah. They're always, you can't fight that battle. That's, that's, that's a losing and a waste of your time battle. If you, like I said, you got to marry somebody that you could trust. That, you know, it's as simple as that. What I really respect about you is that you say, okay, if I find out, I'm not going to go back through the door and give them one more chance, two more chances, three more chances. You're here and you're saying... The one more chance was marrying me. You got me to yourself. And so you're saying you find out different today. And he knows. And that, that, that's it's it. A done dilly. Okay. Let's bring out your husband, Jere. How you doing, Jere? I'm all right, Steve. You know, I, I listened to the story. You got a very beautiful wife, very impressive lady. Is she a good wife? Yes, she is. She's a very good wife. Great wife? Yes, she is, definitely. Good mother? Definitely a good mother. And so why, why is she thinking that you're cheating on her? Honestly, because I've, I have uh, made the websites, you know what I'm saying? I did go to the websites, but you don't understand what it's like to go out to work and come home, you know what I'm saying, be working all night and come home to a dirty house and then clean up the house and then not say nothing to her and then still get, you well, know Well, why what wouldn't saying? you say anything to her? No, not say nothing to her, not get mad at her. Some, most dudes who come home and not see, they want their house clean, they want their house clean come home, don't see it clean, they might start flashing, cussing, or whatever. I don't do that. I come home, no, I'll just clean so up the your, house. So your thing is that you go and make six profile sites? No, on that's not sites? what I'm saying, but I, I do a whole bunch of stuff. I try to go, I get home as fast as I can, and whenever I go out, you know what I'm saying? Still, nothing. No matter what I do, I'm always doing something. Did no you matter make these what. dating sites? Yes, I did. You have what? to know what she's done, though. Listen. Why would I? No, okay. listen. Okay. You, you, do you want to get into that game, what she did? Let's, well, we how about let's, let's play the, the game, let's play the game. Because we've had to play the game all the time. I'm asking you, though. Okay. You, you admit, you're saying, you made these d dating sites. You go on there and you, you say, you put your profile that you're single? No, I do not put it out single. You put down that you're married? Yes, I put married and separated. That's what I put. Are you separated? No. Well, the, we're okay, separated you're still lying. <laughs> she kept accusing me of being this person that's out doing all this stuff with all these women. Every time I go to the store, I'm, meeting, I'm talking to this female. Every time I go to my grandma's house, I'm doing this. Are I'm you? Always doing, no, I'm not. So you, you, the, you, you messed up before your marriage, right? Yes, and part of me did feel like if I'm going to be doing this, no matter what, no matter what, if I'm this person, then why not be this person? If I'm already that person to her. So you, you want to, listen, I did, you, this person, this person though. that you, you caused this tremendous amount of pain to your wife, you want to be that person? If, if she no, accused me, what if she said, you know, hey, you're sleeping with children. Would you go on do it because she's accusing you of that? No. Oh, I'm sorry, you did that already. No. Right? No.
I mean, was she in high school? Once I found out she was in high school, we did not sleep together anymore. So what'd you do, take her to the park? Oh, I'm so in love with you. You know what else I can do to prove you that I love you? Chase me. I don't love my wife. I am in love with my wife. I'm crazy in love with her. She wouldn't ask me if I would chase her down the street. I'd be running my ass off that day. September, October, November, December, January, That's February. That is six though. months. That's your information. The man you who hooked her. you up with her okay, told me believe, when it, he... Okay, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? You believe everybody else but me. That's what you do. So do that. I know it ain't been three months. I mean, I know it's been, it was only been three months. The it little girl no told six me months. six. It's three okay, months. Okay, she told hey, listen, you a whole bunch of stuff. Let me, let me ask two. you a question, Jure. Yes. Is three months better than six months sleeping with the child when you're a grown man? No, it's not. And I was wrong, and I can't do nothing to change it. It was very wrong. And, you know, three months, okay, we're not even saying, ah, one night stand, I didn't know how old she was. But you're telling me you're an intelligent guy, and three months you couldn't figure out her See, age? No. Where you at all day? We weren't. I'm in school, in high school. It wasn't even like that because we didn't really kick it like that. It well, what was it like? It was only, we only met every few times. Are most teenage girls in high school? Yes, they are. I mean, was she in high school? Uh, yes, she was. I found out she was. <laughs> and you didn't stop? Uh, yes, I did. Once we start, once I found out she was in high school, we did not sleep together anymore. So what'd you do? Take her to the park? No, see... <laughs> she's, she's come out here and she says, you're, you're a great dad. She yes. says, you're a, a super hard worker. So she's not coming out here, you know, just totally yeah, bum-rushing you. Yeah, that's what she's saying to you. What she says to me is not what she says to everybody else. What she says to me is I'm not a good Well, child. you know I'm what? Sometimes don't wives don't want to portray their husbands in the, in the worst light, and they keep things private. When you're married, you should, whether you're sleeping with women right now or not, I don't know what's the point other than trying to hook up with somebody by creating dating online sites. Nothing. There's there's no other reason. You can't sit there and tell me you don't know why you do it. You know why you're doing it, because you're trying to hook up with some females. That's yeah, why you're doing it. Part of me did want to. Honestly, it did. Do you, do you love your wife? Yes, I love her very much. She's the most important woman to me besides all, you know my, my daughters. My grandmother, my mother, my sister, she's the most important woman in my entire life. And I love her so much, I can't, I've told her so many times, I can't imagine my life without you, period. And she won't believe me. You imagine all. it without me every time you go click on that computer. Guitar, why, why don't you talk you, to me? I just need you to know you're hurting me. You're killing me inside. My little girls see me cry every time we argue. <laughs> they are seeing Whose too much. Is that? Yours. I don't, I don't tell you to uh, cry in front of them. I always try to go away from the kids. This, okay? This, I don't try to sit there in front of them and you do that, not me. Okay? Because you start overreacting about something I do, and you start crying about it, don't mean that it's, uh, I'm just this horrible person. You know what I'm saying? If look I at get, the hostility toward you and me. Look at how you're standing, well, at, how you act you, toward you're me. To me. Look how you're trying to make me seem in front of all these people like I'm I just tried to make you seem person. like you're a good man. Like I'm just coming home, I'm always trying to make you cry and all this kind of stuff, and I don't do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good man, I come home, I take care of you, I work all the time. And I take care of the house all the time. You don't have to do nothing. Anytime well, you're you want not loving her and taking care of her all the time. If you got six websites going I'm trying not. to hook up with women. When we first got together, Steve, I did everything. I did everything. I even told him I wanted to be a superwoman and would get up for him before he'd go to work at six in the morning, cook for him in the rain. If he was at work and said he wanted something, this is before we had the car we do have and the stuff we built together. On the bus, I would get on the bus in the rain and bring him food. And but I on the bus, I finished, got finished, 
I had to, st I, it's not just get on the bus and go. I had to stop, grab him something to eat in the rain, then go all the way to his job, bring it to him. The house stayed clean all the time. When I found out he was bringing another woman to my house, she can clean my house. Does it bother you you have these websites? Honestly, no, because I don't, they're not something that I, I've created them, yes, but I don't go check them all the time. Oh, I come don't on, go. Man. You don't check them all the time, no, just once I, in a while? No, I don't See if the fish is on the line? No, I don't check them at all. I haven't, when she found them, I already I told her, I would, like, there's a couple websites, I already told her I thought they were canceled. I thought I had canceled them, but they weren't canceled. I don't go to What about them at the other all. four? There's not, first of all, there's not as many as she's saying that there is. How so many are there? I can, there's only I can a name couple. them. Because I closed them down one by one. Okay. You know, Jure, nobody's, nobody's going to beat you up for not loving somebody. You, you love who you want to love, and just stand on stage. I'm just telling you, from what I observe, you seem very cold to your wife. Thank you. You, see, you don't Thank seem you. like you're very caring. Thank um, you. Somebody else is telling you this. I needed somebody else to see how you treat me. Well, y'all can see whatever you want to. Look at you. Because you is this how you want to like. come off to me? Do you realize you are about to lose me? Do you? And don't you think if you want to keep me, you need to change your persona, how you stand it, and the way you are treating me? You need to act like I am the most important thing in front of you. And if I was to walk away, you was going to chase me. If she ran down the street, would you go chase her? I ask him that. I ask him that. I'm asking him. Would you chase your wife if she ran? Uh, probably not because of what she says to me. <laughs> Come we don't even need the test. I, I swear, I don't know the results of this. But I really don't want to read them. This is Jure's lie detector results. Have you cheated on your wife since you've been married? You answered no. Jure's lie detector test results is that ever say to people that you don't love her? No, I do not. I have said that in the past that I wasn't in love with her, but I don't tell anybody I don't love her. Everybody I tell I love her What's more than anything. What's the difference if you tell somebody you. I'm not loving, in love with her? No, loving, being loved with somebody and loving somebody is a very different thing. And I love her you know more. What? She's You're, the you most know what? important You're right. to me. I agree with you. You can love somebody and not be in love with them. But you shouldn't be married to them. <laughs> Is she acting right now? Is this, is her crying? Is her showing all this emotion? Is this an act? No, she's not. She's okay. Not giving that You're act. not showing any emotion. Thank you. I no, say that nothing. Too. And I mean, I'll tell you, if, if I was married to somebody that was acting like you, cold, not caring about me, not showing me anything, well, I don't know how much longer I'd be married to that you person. Feel like Do it, love whoever you want to love, Jure. I'm not telling you got to love this woman, but if you don't, why not let her go and let her find somebody that will be in love with her? I just don't understand how you don't see that I love you, and you still just tell me that I don't do nothing all the time. That's all I am. That's all I know I am to you. You're like not all this there good person. for me when I cry and you're cold. What you guys oh, are seeing God. right now is exactly how he is. He doesn't soften up for me. When a man loves a woman, he got a soft so a spot in his heart for her. I can't woman, soften this man up for nothing. He won't reach out and hug me for This is the kind nothing. of stuff I do at the house. Every time I try to explain to you 
how I feel. All you do is talk over me. I try to show you all the time that I love you, and you all the time tell me that I don't. Well, why can't, why can't you show it now? Emotion. I want to see your emotions. You but really you know, think cleaning up the house shows you love me. And it doesn't. I, it shows you're a good cleaner. <laughs> I need to I just, feel you. I just don't. I you are to cold do, to me. And I feel like I do. And you're I know I do. Mean right now. The way you're talking to me. You're talking at me, not even to me. You know, Takara, I got to be honest here. I think what, you know, with the websites and everything, very disrespectful. He obviously hurt you before you were married. But like you said, you gave him a chance. He went to the meetings and, and everything. And he cleaned himself up and you guys got married. And truthfully, I, I, Jure might just be this way. And I'm not saying, Dre, you're a bad guy for it because we're all different. And maybe you're just not a guy that's very emotional, you know, emotional. Maybe you don't express yourself. I'm not a psychologist. I, I'm not no marriage counselor. But I know people want to be happy. And they expect something out of their spouse. And all I'm telling you is, does it really matter? Because I don't know if he can give you what you really want. That's the thing. I, I don't, you know, this is your decision if you want me to read this. I, I wish in the lie detector test you could ask if he's in love with me because I want to know if this is a personality flaw or if he doesn't love me and that's why he's so cold because people are cold when they don't love someone as well. And if it's a personality thing, but you know is there know what the, the You know what, you know what, Takara? I don't know if you want to live your life wondering if somebody loves you based on a lie detector test. <laughs> Let, let, let me ask you something. The way he acts on stage to you, the way that he's been up here, the way, you know, the way he says, where, how he acts at home, is he this way with his daughters? Does he act this cool and, no. and cool demeanor with his children? Nope, nobody but me. He's only brave enough to do it to me. He wouldn't do it to any one of y'all. Right there, it tells you something. I mean, yeah. it probably tells you he, doesn't, he's, he loves you, but he's not in love with you. And, and he's basically said that, and that's, that's, a, that's, that's a hard thing to swallow for anybody if you're married. That's a real tough thing, and I understand that. And you, you know what? You, you deserve it, and you know what? And, and, and truthfully, everybody deserves it. He deserves it to have somebody in love with you. You are in he love with this man. He does have somebody in I love with I know. I see. You, you are in love with him. I can see that. But I think he loves you, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jeray. But I, I don't know if you're in love with your wife. I'm so in love with you. I've never met anybody more perfect for me. Our, the way we met was so perfect. I can't imagine my life without you. And that's why I go through what I do with you. That's, it's so hard to listen to you tell me that I don't love you when I, lo I love you more than anything in the world. I don't know what I can do, what more I can do. I try. I try to bring you flowers and make sure you're ha just to see a smile on your face. You know, I, I try my hardest, and it just doesn't seem to work, and I don't know what else I can do to prove to you that I love you. I really don't. Chase me. Say you would chase me. I would chase you. I just want to do whatever it takes to prove to you that I do love you because we have a great relationship, we have a great family, and we have to make this work because we're too perfect for each other. And I just want you to know that I do love you. Please. Read the results, Steve. Have you cheated on your wife since you've been married? You answered no. Did you raise? Lighter type test results is that And this is why I want the test. <laughs> the confusion, the you saw the hostility, the coldness, and then this. It's back and forth. It's because I, I just love don't you. know. The coldness. You know, honestly, 
I, I, I'm getting sucked in. I'm falling in love with them. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he's acting right now or what, but he comes down and he, he's coming through in the clutch and he's telling his wife, he, he, you know, he loves you. And then I'm like, oh, they're going to get together. And, you know, and, and you know, I, the older I get, the more emotional I get. And I, 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 I want to see, like, you guys work it out and your marriage stays together. I, I would hope that for you. And when I say, I don't know if you want to base your marriage on lie detector results. I'm not basing my marriage on it. You kind of I'm are. confused about if I'm a, if he's you not shouldn't a be, You shouldn't be confused on. It's a liar. Well, <sighs> then you make your decision on that. But is my insecurities telling me that or is he really a liar? He's making like websites he said, and he's I fishing think he's for women. at a woman, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I'm sure half the men in here didn't did that to their woman. I'm sure, Steve, you have maybe looked at another woman. Oh. Guilt? In a sexual hey. desire. Guilty as charged. I have looked but at other women. Not take it to but the point I to go actually But I can swear on my children. I've never created them. six websites trying to lure women in. That's so true. That listen, is so true. Listen, listen. Let me this tell you so something. True. Let me tell you something. Anytime my wife she wouldn't ask me if I would chase her down the street. I'd be running my ass off after her. I'm glad that, I, that she's so happy no, to hear you say I, that. All I'm saying is, I'm not, That's I don't strange. love my wife. I am in love with my wife. I'm crazy in love with her. Okay. I have my two children. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't be any more affectionate to my wife. I couldn't be. Now, I'm a different guy, though. I'm very emotional. I'm very expressive. Uh, you know, I, I let my, everybody who deals with me knows exactly what I'm thinking, exactly what I'm feeling. Maybe Jeray's not like that. But the, the thing is, you don't have to be like me to love your wife, to show your wife you love her. Wife. And you I can't be respectful right. and not put the fishing hook out there on a website. And you're right. And, you're, and, 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 and then just right. be like, well, I just did it. I don't know why. That's, that's not true. I don't want to read these results. And I honestly, I'm telling you, I swear to God, I, I swear, I don't know the results of this. But I really don't want to read them. I really don't. If you want to give them a chance, give them a chance. If you don't want to give them a chance, don't give them a chance. It's, it's your call. You want me to read it? Read the results, Steve. <laughs> this is Jeray's lie detector results. Since you have been married, have you been sexually intimate with any woman other than your wife? And you answered no. Have you cheated on your wife since you've been married? You answered no. Have you cheated with any woman that you met on the internet? And you answered no. He has not told the truth. What? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we're done. That's crazy. That is why I brought you here. I know. No. Now I know for a fact he's There's not no in love fact. with me. No, because I've not done <laughs> nothing with anybody. Oh, else. whatever. I didn't see an issue before. Well, all I can say, baby, is that I've never done anything. You don't get your Get off you. of me and move away from me. I'm no, so serious. No, because I love you and I've not done anything to you at all. I don't know. So serious. Those results. Hey, I live in Portland, Oregon. I'm 25. Business. I need a man. I did not like that. Me. You already knew. Know. You already knew. This is not a surprise. You knew I was leaving you. Well, maybe the final test should be 
Why don't you run out of the studio and see if he chases you? He will. He's not going to stand up here by himself. Come on now. I'm so relieved. And I have no animosity toward you except for the fact you're a liar. You're a liar for no reason. It's not the cheating that would make me leave you. It's the fact that you are lying. And you're going to lie to me for the rest of our marriage. And I'm not having it. We can work out cheating. We can't work out lying. I don't mind. End of the show. Both you need you, the, the one thing, no matter what, you'd be good parents to your children, you'd be loving to them, and you, no you, need, you need to find somebody that's going to chase you. Later when Let's I'm... Let's go. Yeah. Both the and then he's saying he loves you and I keep it up. Baby, I know you don't believe me. But I love you, and I'm not done. I don't believe you're here right now. I don't I'm believe not. you're even standing here trying to still lie to me. I'm You've lied to me for years. I'm not years lying to you. Years you've been lying to all. me. No, I have not lied you've about anything at all. Let me fall apart in no, front of you. You've not. watched me kill my soul. You've yeah. watched me lose no. myself. <laughs> you've watched me. No, I'm gone. No. I'm not even the same moment anymore. I'm insecure as I just, Come here, baby. I have not done this. This is like you. so fake. Are fake. you serious? I'm not being fake. I this, love you. Everybody you saw how happen. you treated me. I can't let you go You're like this. done, son. I can't. Don't come with the hugs and kisses. We're friends. And I will be respectful towards you, and we will raise these kids just fine. The truth of it is, he didn't come chase you on your own. The audience had to yell at him to chase her. The thing is, I walk <laughs> off with your wife. You should be a, you right on my ass. That's the truth of it. I would never let okay. some man walk off the stage with my wife. I'd be right there. Yeah, I well, wouldn't let it. I don't know. I just, I've seen the show, and I've seen you walk off hey, with people, so it, I didn't you know, know what? how I'm, to act. Hey, listen, you know it's, a t it's a TV show. You act how your heart feels, not how any, nobody controls you. It, it's, listen, the show's over. Do you want me to escort you to by yourself, or would you like to talk with him? Uh, it's up to you. To whatever you want. There's that to talk I'm asking. About. We would can you talk on the plane on the way home? When you, you know, you're getting out of my life. Okay. Well, that's something to talk about. Let's go. Don't chase me, because you should have chased me a long time ago. Now you can't even catch me. After the show, Jure said he felt stupid about the way he acted toward Dakar on stage. They've been staying in separate homes, but Jure...